you know, about blowing up the plant, the towers. It's a, the room is very touchy. Hey, everyone. It I think will, it's time to get it, this it going. Time to be a Star War? Oh, wait. Um, I didn't check what the UI is like in this game, so I might have to scoot around my webcam once we get into it. Uh... Yeah, technical stuff, the intro videos. I'm gonna I'm gonna make that its own thing coming up here pretty soon. My plan is to I'm gonna do like um themed clip shows. Uh probably be sub only though, just to warn you. Hello, Dance Party, that's a good name. Um, but yeah. Uh I'm, my my thinking is with like with um uh like Prime and all that stuff. Hopefully I can figure that out. Something so horrible about low bitrate audio? Yeah, man, it, it, it takes you back, doesn't it? Not in the best way. Um, things have gotten better, for sure. Uh, <sighs> oh yeah, I also noticed my, my webcam frame was a little funky last time. Have you started this game yet? No. Uh, this is completely fresh, completely new. I will be playing it for the first time. I'm also going to be playing it on the hardest difficulty, because that's just the idiot that I am. But also, yeah, I can scoot you down a little bit. Uh, that also means I probably won't be just blazing through the game. Uh, probably be a little slow going. Um, so I don't know that I'm gonna, gonna really just be blasted on through it, so. Oh my. Jedi, a Grandmaster. Oh, that's cool. It actually tells you that it lowers the parry timing window. I'm into that. I'm into that. Grandmaster. Yeah, I got some new, new uh, notifications. I've been working on it. Also, hold on a minute. Dr. Fanny Boz. That's a subhype, though. Which, uh... Means we, uh... We celebrate subs in, an, in, a, in a way here. At least we do whenever I'm not playing games with other people. I'm gonna... I'm gonna play you a song. I'm gonna play you a little, little songy song here. A cheeky little song. Uh... I work with a lot of noise bands and musicians, and they use... It well, but those Robocop S audio clips are just so grating. Yeah! So that's something that I never really thought about when it comes to music mixing and like being a DJ. Oh, value fries, that is another one. So that's two. Thank you. Let me play those up for you. Um, is the idea that like, when you're combining clips and tracks and stuff, you have to be mindful of like, not only do they work together in terms of BPM and key and tone, but also production quality. Um, to a degree, I mean, I know that there's like a lot of EDM that will throw in a very low, lo-fi uh, clip and it can work. But if you're using like a whole sample or like a whole loop of like a drum track and it's just from a bygone era, um, that is, uh, it won't sound right. Um, so that's kind of interesting. All right, this is pretty good. So this is, this is from the Lollipop Chainsaw score. Um, it's one of the boss fights, and it's fucking awesome. Please enjoy. So good. So good. How do subs work with tokens? I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know what tokens are. Is that the new loyalty system that Twitch has going? I haven't even read up on it. I honestly don't know how that shit works. I need to do that. I will do that soon. And then I can explain it for, to you. But That sort of stuff, you can recreate the sample through sound design or rewrite it for uh, if your ear is good enough to hear the raw note and the intervals and the melodies. The sample is 24-bit. Hmm. Just subbed with a token. Um, huh. <laughs> 
I, I wish I could tell you. I don't know. <laughs> uh, well, value fries. Thanks for subbing. Um, yeah, I'll have to figure that out, Rock. That's that's interesting now on me. But value fries. Thanks for subbing. Here's your track. vibe check song but now it's time it's time to become the Jedi master grand master I was born to be playing this will make me as strong as Yoda confirmed oh you gotta hold the button oh thanks Joker yeah now I need to dedicate another pint to you oh yeah dude thank you kingdom of heaven is a really underrated movie oh psychotic snake and with the two two months of prime, that's another sub hype. Uh, I might have to wait until after uh, after the intro, though. Yeah, I am watching the Mandalorian. I really, really, really like it. Oh, Edward McDougal. I'm doing I'm doing all right. I'm doing better. Getting getting shit taken care of. Feels good. Give me those in-engine cutscenes. Give it, give it to me. Yeah, ALC. First playthrough. Never played the game before. Gonna get my ass kicked, but I will be a better Jedi for it. What did you think of Mandalorian Episode One and Two? Honestly, it's sort of rekindled my 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 passion for Star Wars. I was just—I was getting so tired of, of movies that followed the formula or felt like they had to follow a formula. Listen, I don't want to upset your rhythm, Cal, but the boss wants a word. But it is—it is sort of back to what I think a lot of people would remember being the sort of core of Star Wars, which is like tales of interest in a wild galaxy. On line ten A, all our clamps are jammed. I need two workers to climb up and secure the cables. That's not an easy maneuver. The gal will double your pay for this shift. No, IG button, this is, or LG button. That couldn't hurt. This is my, uh, first playthrough ever. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Get to work. I'm just, like, honestly, like, I'm super excited for this because I have always loved Star Wars games. There's there's a lot of good there and a lot of bad, too. But, um, also, like, Respawn, are they're just amazing single-player developers, so... Um, so just a campaign from them is worthy of uh, being excited about. Titanfall 2 is one of the most underrated single-player campaigns. Like, people just didn't care. It's almost like, with a property, you have to establish it as being single-player or people won't care, even if it turns into that later. Which has me worried about Overwatch 2. Like, everybody's kind of over... I, I shouldn't say everybody. I shouldn't speak for everyone, but... Just, I, I, myself, I should say. There was a time when I super would have wanted an Overwatch one campaign and that time kind of passed but you know good games are always good but first sub hype <laughs> sorry i know th there is i think there will come a time when I, I gotta stop doing this because it is actually disruptive and i think people aren't aren't super into it but for now i'm gonna keep doing it because i like it i like sharing music i like talking about music hey, you look at that a separatist ship I haven't seen a Luke or Hulk in ages. Yeah. 
ages. Breaking her will be big money. All right, let's go. It is interesting how a lot of Star Wars stories, and this is obviously by design, start try to start with a most like meager and uh, base existence for a, a protagonist. So like Luke is a farm boy, Ray is a scavenger. It also tries to start in the lowest place and then take you through all the ups and downs. Pretty neat. This, this tutorial does the trick does trick you into thinking it's an Uncharted type. Yeah, I remember a lot of people having that concern with the uh, the E three demo. Oh, got a shimmy. Yep. That old unreal texture, Help. texture threading hallway. Yeah, I'm good. Ladders out though. Austin, I think I'm gonna like this game a lot too. Yeah, no problem. I'll improvise. And yeah, there, it is really pretty so far. Um, these are the kinds of games that I'm glad I uh, sort of invested into my streaming computer for. I, I crammed a bunch of hardware in there and overclocked the fuck out of it so that I could get a really good, crisp 1080p stream going out. The bitrate is still a bit of a bummer uh, about Twitch, but hey, that's the game, baby. How much can you do with six megabits? Oh! Benchenko, thank you for the Prime sub. I'm pretty sure that's also a hype. That's two months, yeah? This is the beginning of the game, Burn. I am not, I am not very far at all. Time to go sliding. Ho! I lived pretty quick last night. Did you guys manage to finish the raid? No. We got very close, though, and I... This barge immediately. You are not approved trash. Oh, Jesus. Trash? She's not approved trash. Oh, my God. Millennial statement of the year, huh? Oh, my God. We stand. Oh, my God. Mood. Big mood. Same energy. Think it overuses the Uncharted stuff too much? Yeah. I'm curious how that's gonna be like, because it Jacob was I was trying to talking with Jacob about it, and he was like, Yeah, you can explore in open areas, but you can go all the way to one corner, find a thing, but then you gotta come all the way back. Um But does it have rim lighting? Look at these ears. No. Or sorry, uh what is it? Subspace scattering. Trash game, no ray tracing. I guess it is unreal, so... <laughs> it's just a fucking giant spout of oil. I guess you're cracking a ship in half, it's gonna... It's gonna spew like a- like an egg. Yeah, Jacob probably beaten it like three or four times already. I don't understand that man. Just passing through. He's gotta have like a hyperbolic time chamber in his pocket or something. You let go of. Wait, hold on. Oh. Okay, weird. I guess it's good to have a button that says stick to something so you don't do it accidentally. What exactly is ray tracing? That's a good question. Um, so I'm I'm dreaming about making an instructional video about it, but let me see if I can give you the Cliff's notes. Um, uh, and actually, I'll do this while I play the survive. So, uh, this will actually work out perfectly. Um, a video game, like a movie, is a series of frames, still images, played in order to create the illusion of motion, right? So the whole, the whole uh, trick about a video game is how to make those pictures, which is essentially you have to fill an, uh, a square image or a rectangular image with colored dots called pixels. And those colored dots, uh, arranged in a certain order, create an image, and then those images played in sequence create the illusion of motion. Um, so how do you create those Im those pixels? What math what mathematics do you tell a computer to create those to create that shit? Um, current rendering uh, is it's a mixture of a lot of stuff, but at, at its core, it's called rasterizing or rasterization, which is there's a lot of mathematics and geometry. I think somebody had said that. Yeah, call me Alex. Uh, it's a lot of geometry, so shapes uh, and then textures pasted onto those shapes and lighting effects that are then colored in after the fact to create a more 
visually realistic picture. Um, but it, it's all math. Like, it's not pixels yet. So then a, a rasterizer has to go through and convert that into dots. Uh, so that's how you basically turn um, mathematics and geometry and game assets into a series of pixels that then create a video stream. Um, ray tracing is different uh, than that. Basically, for with ray tracing, for every pixel in an image, you fire a laser beam into this uh, abstracted world, bounce it off of shit, and then either it hits a light source or it doesn't. And then once it hits a light source, then you work backwards on all the things it bounced off of and compute the color of the light that would fly through all that. And then when you work backwards, now you have your dot. Um, and you do that for every dot in the picture. That's full ray tracing. Um, the way that it's different then is there's a lot of cheats that modern rendering engines use to mimic how light works to create a scene. They have to be fast because it's rendered in real time. You only have 16 milliseconds to generate a you know, 4K or 1980p or 1080p image, which isn't much time. Um, so you have to do a lot of cheats, a lot of good enoughs that get close, but not quite. Ray tracing, since it's a beam of light that's bouncing around a virtual environment, is much closer to how light actually works. So it produces a lot of lighting effects that the cheats and mimicry can't, can't copy. Not fast enough. Yeah, a wizard did it, basically. Uh, yeah, ray tracing is used in movies, Pixar and stuff like that. So movies can do it because they're pre-rendered. You create a scene, you put your camera in it, you light it, and then you send it to a render farm where it can ray trace all the images and create more realistic lighting. Uh, but I can, re re I can recreate a realistic beat for you right now. This one's a little intense. It's from the Ruiner soundtrack, which is really, really good. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy it. Yeah, some Hotland Miami vibes there. Yeah, Don Bot, you'll. A lot of my stream is. Uh, a lot of my stream is is attuned for those who are otherwise sensually enhanced. Um, looking forward to the next generation of RTX cards. Hopefully, you'll be able to get 1440p 144 without the need for DLSS, which is pretty blurry in most cases. Yeah, it is. Eh, I think it'll get there. Uh, what's the genre of music called? That's a good question. Um, like acid lo-fi? I'm not sure. How do you find that? Um, what that music? Uh, that I mean, that was from a video game. So. Good to see you. Me too. Don't get yourself killed. I played the video the game. Idea. Yeah, boy, this is it is running down the greatest greatest hits of Uncharted right now, isn't it? Wobble walking over a beam, climbing up stuff. Sliding down things. Hello, Mr. Gonk Droid. Barp. Can you knock into him? Barp. Aw. I want you to walk around and bunk into stuff. Barp, barp, barp. Barp, barp. Shadows, though, right? Oh, the filler TV ads. Oh, well, that. Oh, geez. That comes from everywhere. There's not really one place. Just like pulling things. Oh, little guys. Sounds like scrap rats. Yeah, little, little dudes. Just passing through, guys. Like old torrents, uh... That's pretty cool camera work. Old torrents, Prelinger archives, YouTube. I'll pull from that sometimes. Twitter. There are Twitter accounts that'll just post some shit. And I'll be like, I want that. It's basically a good, you know, a giant digital scrapbook. That's kind of how I'm organizing it. Use your VODs as my fall asleep TV channel. Oh, hey, glad to hear that. Sounds good. Be there soon. 
Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna start doing those a lot more. Um, and actually, that's good to hear, Donbot. Well, oh, I didn't hit the button right. Already dead. Um, so as I oh, already dead again. As I was kind of alluding to, I pretty soon here we'll start doing um, sub only vod streams. Uh, or sorry, not vod, the like clips. Um, I'm gonna start with the holidays. I'm gonna put together like a bunch of uh, holiday ads and like Christmas specials and just random uh, seasonal junk to kind of make it uh, make it fun. What? What's what? Okay. Hmm. Don't know what that's all about. Yeah, Donbot. Maybe I can. I might be able to figure something out where like I don't want to exclude people, but I also have concerns about just having it open on Twitch. Uh, certainly, like, monetizing it is a, is a goal. Okay. Alright. Uh, hey, Buffalo. Nice to see ya. Also, Ark Bauer, thank you for the, the cheer. Uh, but yeah. Monetizing it is, is in the back of my head, but more it's like... Technically, that's not content I own the rights to. Um, I have tried to be very careful about not including anything that is... Like currently monetizable, or currently, uh... Like, currently being worked on. Like, I want all abandoned shit. Just to, for it to be a sort of, um... <laughs> that's a good comeback. Uh, to be... I want it to be sort of like a digital graveyard. And I think you can learn a lot from, uh, watching the things that time forgot. Uh, which is, you know, maybe a little self-aggrandizing when I'm discussing what it is. But yeah, dead company ads, exactly. Um... Scientology will see you anyway. I mean, I'm not. It's, it's not bad stuff, right? But yeah, exactly, Donbot. Like, uh, there's the. Uh, this is just on the top of my head, but there's like, there's a video in there that's like from Atari at their heyday, talking about how they're gonna be around forever and like they're the biggest thing in the world and this is a mo revolution and and mechanics or whatever. Oh. A lot of this stuff from the. Uh, oh shit! Cool. Is the giant laser sawing the ship in half? Why don't they put that on... ...on the ship itself? That seems like a pretty good weapon. If they could chop the wing off one of these things. Maybe its range is limited. I can't remember what... Was it Wing Commander? Oh no, it was, um... Mass Effect. The way that Mass Effect would talk about space battle was really cool. That, like, basically, it was naval warfare because you had to have physical projectiles. And they had lasers, but they, uh... They dissipated heat too fast to be useful in, uh, in space. Unless you were at really close range. So it's like... It was essentially sub-combat of, like, trying to fire torpedoes at each other and, and evade detection. Unless you were close range, and then it was a knife fight. Of, like, if you just go bang, and just, like, punch through an entire ship with an ultra laser. Uh, I thought that was really neat. You don't ever really see that in the, um, in the universe, but... God, oh, this framing is on point, though. Yeah, it makes sense. That, that's one of the things I really liked about Mass Effect 1, and only one, is that a, so much of that game was trying to be rooted in rea Well, I say reality, but it really did try to think through the physics of the world. And, like, that went down to stuff like the guns don't reload, they overheat, and all that shit. Um... But then by two, they were like, oh, people like reloading, so let's add in reloading. And then Thermal Eclipse was the thing, and I was like, this is fucking dumb. This is dumb. That, to me, Mass Effect 2 was when they started to trade away the things that made that game unique and well thought out to just make people like it more. And then three, boy, all bets were off. It was, we're going to do everything we can to make this the most liked game in the world. We gotta finish before they start cutting this wing. Afternoon, See, I'm working as fast as I can. Imagineac, and I hope I'm saying your name correctly. Uh, Mass Effect 1 was my favorite too. Same with Assassin's Creed 1. I really liked those games when they were all creative intent and no like market data focused testing. Because they, they just get bland and samey. Um, Cal, use the manual override lever below. You got it. What if I just work on my forearms here? <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Is there a button I gotta hit there? Whoop! It's not A. Not A. Not A at all. 
Okay. Got it. Your turn. Oh. Hold on. Nikki, right. thank you for the resub. Holy crap! Forty-seven months. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm having a good Sunday so far. I uh Still here. went to like a local diner. It's always good to check those places out. It seemed like one of those places where there's a lot of history there. Uh, like it's been in operation for four decades or whatever. Um, doing some some annoying housework, getting that taken care of. I did the dishes in the middle of washing some bed sheets. Got to do that like every month or so, maybe every two weeks. And now I'm playing a Star Wars game. I'm really excited. Thank you for the resub, Fiori. And also MLG Noob, thanks for the Prime sub. Glory. Those Jedi. Real tragedy. That voice sounds familiar. Nah, I've always said they Prowl. Be traitors. Checkpoints are pretty brutal. Okay. That's the reason I was trying to play Shadow of the Tomb Raider on the hardest difficulty, but man, those checkpoints are raunchy. Here we are, scrapping. And that's the point. Like they warn you about that. Favorite Diablo? All of us risking our necks for the bosses. And the pay was better back during the Republic too. It's hard to say. Listen to me. Probably Diablo 2. like this. Maybe you take it off this soggy rock. I appreciate 3 a lot, but it is more of that like we're going to give players the experience they say they want instead of trying to like craft a thing. Although I did play 4 at BlizzCon and I like it a lot. Live your life. Find your destiny. But yeah, Buffalo, I, I have a... OBS supports sidechain uh, compression. Natural, or natively. So you can set it up that when one audio source hits a certain decibel threshold, it compresses another audio source. It's a little hard to set up if you're not familiar with, like... Production. Um, or, or audio processing. We gotta run along a thing as it's exploding? Can it really be the Unreal Engine? Hell yeah. Uh, yeah, boy. You guys were not not kidding about it being very uncharted at the beginning. Not kidding at all. Bro, you okay? Go! I, I can't climb up! Bro, just hang on! That sent me! No, don't let go! I, I can't hold on! No, Prof! Bro! My man! No. You okay? Perfectly pinned. I'm alright! Just pin down! How far into the game are you? Like 20 minutes? I'll get us out of here! Just hang on! Watch out, Cal! Look out! Thing is barely playing. Hold on. You all right? Yeah. It's a detail that I didn't notice while playing. Oh, something that like you pick up on after you know some things about the character in the story. I love that stuff. What was that back there? Was that you? What are you talking about? Wait, that, that was the force, wasn't it? Just forget what you saw, okay? Please no, trust me. I've seen the, I've, I've seen the stories. I've heard it. The bounties out on people I like know. you. I know. I know. Yeah, we're ready. I like how this character is what mid twenties and already really scarred up. That's a neat, neat touch. MG Ultra, thanks for the prime sub. Do aliens shave? Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, he's seen some shit. I mean, that's the idea, right? Life is supposed to be pretty hard. If you're not... Good. Well, I was gonna say on Coruscant, but that doesn't exist. Wait, no Coruscant's still there. It was the other planet they blew up. Wait, no! I'm working with you sometime now. Wait. <laughs> Got my timelines mixed up. Seen you do anything like it was Coruscant in Episode 7, right? <laughs> We've been through some hell together. <laughs> so... I know the risk. Hossian Prime, okay. I don't know Thank you. you. Don't mention it. I mean it. Oh, yeah, do not talk about it. This place. 
Late teens, early twenties? Oh, okay. It's safe. Damn. Maybe you should, you know, disappear. She's gonna head back to my place, grab my bag. Tappers owes me a favor. I heard he was up on, uh, Nashida. Yeah. You won't be seeing me for a while, bro. Thank you, Harold. Yeah. yeah okay. Okay, Kel. It's weird because I feel like there's always been a desire to kind of see the grittier, grosser part of the Star Wars universe. You get, like, glimpses of it. Like, I think people thought Solo would be that. It kind of wasn't. Rogue One, kind of that, but also not really. It's always like things start there, but, oh, he, he's going to rat you out, isn't he? Well, I leave no one saw him do that. Uh, I think you don't. You probably don't want to risk it. Hello, Chato. Good afternoon. Uh, although I feel like post episode six, is that really uh, a huge problem? Being a Jedi, I guess. I guess you probably don't want to. After after Jedi were involved, yeah, Mandalorian is is very close. I think Mandalorian is more like the far reaches. Mandalorian's like outer rim shit, of just removed from everything, not necessarily. Uh, like Death Sticks vendor and Coruscant level sh level stuff. Yeah, Funky Lime. The more I watch Rogue One, the more I really appreciate it. As much as like Last Jedi tried to be like, no, we're not going to be a fairy tale anymore. This is the real world, and this is what really happens. Man, Rogue One actually did that, and is I respect it when you really consider like the stakes of that movie, the. Uh, the way it is able to humanize everything. Like, these aren't... These aren't, like, space wizards. These are just normal people who die. And they're throw, they're giving their lives for the slimmest of chances. And it's that chance that led to episodes 4, 5, and 6. Uh, it's just super, super awesome. And just how, like... How much of a long shot everything was. And how unsung all of those people are. Wait. And their sacrifices are. And actually did a really good job of sort of... Are these characters disappearing? Oh, that's weird. Oh, okay. Uh, yes. I'm having the, uh... Cave... Cave Jedi dream. I need to run to the shops for tofu, so please don't say anything interesting or talk about anything cool till I get back. You got it! Where are you going? You got it, pun. Am I gonna cut his head off and then it'll be my head? This takes place five years after Order 66. Oh! It's between episodes three and four? That doesn't sound right. I thought it was after episode six. Yeah, no, Donbot. We don't need to. We don't need to stand that. Oh. 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 Wah! That's sick. After revenge. Oh. Oh, it's between three and four. Wow. Okay. That makes sense then. Why? Uh. Five years after three. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Okay, that actually, that frames it up pretty well. I thought it was post-6. No, wait, Mandalorian is post-6, right? Okay, that's that's where I'm confused. That's why he's in hiding. Makes sense. Okay. That's why there was a separate ship in the scrapyard? Yeah, that makes sense. And it was all, like, Episode 3 era... Um... Imperial Army stuff. Apprentice, mark well and listen. Master. Trust only in the Force. Train has stopped. Yeah. Something's going on. Oh, damn it. Everybody up. Identification ready. Yeah, that alarm is so good. Star Wars is just packed with amazing sound design. I thought about swapping out all my alerts to be like blasters and lightsaber sounds and stuff like that. But it was either do that or start this game an hour earlier. And I made my choice. I was just really excited to play it. Where's this game in the timeline? Oh, people are just saying it's it's just after episode three. Five years after episode three, so. Order 66 has happened. The entire Imperial Army is hunting down and eliminating all Jedi in the universe. 
Unshockingly, your character's in a bit of a pickle. That's a look. A cape with a red trim? This is when they're gonna establish the rogues gallery of, like, evil imperial people. An inquisitor? Okay. Is this all of them? Yes, second sister. We seek a dangerous fugitive. This is no common anarchist, but a devotee. <laughs> the guy with the 22nd R2-D2 notification on full blast at 4.40 a.m. in the airport? Fuck that guy? Yeah. Failure to turn over... Do you like Sekiro, Metro Prime, Uncharted, and Star Wars? Then buy this game. In a charge of sedition. Which is why I'm so excited, because I love all those games. A lot. For everyone present shall face summary execution. I think it's time someone came forward. Oh, Prophet's gonna turn himself in. No! No, my sweet buddy! No! I've been working on this heap a long time. Way before the war. Obi-Wan, hello there. We refit and rebuilt ships. Best in the galaxy. Then came the Empire. And engineers became scrappers. The workers? They just started getting worked. Prof. We all know the truth. We're just too afraid to say it. I like this. is a good way to establish stakes. To the Empire. We're all just expendable. Yes. Good way to establish the Empire's being evil. <gasps> oh, shit. No! Yes. <laughs> Look at this. A lightsaber. This is scripted loss, I'm guessing. Oh dear. I found the Jedi! Yet again, the Sith fail to actually kill somebody. That hurts. Hold it. Go move. Oh no. Oh, you poor assholes. You poor son of a bitch. Got a stowaway. You dumb idiot. You don't need to call this in. Quiet. I'm gonna let this, this play out. Repeat, did you say Jedi? Copy that. I've got the traitor here. I refuse to kill. I am a true Jedi. I was just gonna wait here. Alright. Yeah, the Nathan Drake train. I was wondering, like, if they're gonna start bashing Cal around like they always do with, uh, Nathan. They really do live, like, slamming him and brutalizing that man. The intro to Uncharted 2 was some real shit. I was into it. Ooh, Stink Fist 11. Thanks for the sub. I'm gonna play you a song here. Oh, look at that! Cute little... Cute little droid. Got some little... Wait, was it laying on the ground when they did this? So they painted over him? Cool, 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 cool. Oh! Oh, wow, that did a lot of damage. Wow. Okay. Alright. It's kind of hard to see some of those based on the angle they're coming in. Can you do that multiple times? Or is there, is there a cooldown on it? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, Jedi are supposed to be glass cannon, right? That at least there's like stakes there. Jedi shouldn't be able to be hit a million times. Usually the video game way they deal with it in Star Wars games is to give you like a shield belt that generates a shield around you. Uh but we got a sub hype on our hands. Um yeah, are you counting now? Okay, cool. Thank you. I actually do appreciate that. It's fun to keep track of stuff like that.
Yes. Great. Now that's video power. Hi, I'm Johnny Arcade, and this is a half hour of video power. Video power is all about video games. This is the only show that's going to give you everything you could possibly ever want to know about the whole world of video games. We'll be going right to the sources of the hottest new games, talking to game inventors right in their own programming labs. We'll also interview game counselors, people who do nothing but play games all day long, and they get paid for it. How do I get a job like that, right? We'll also be checking out our favorite TV and movie stars to find out what games they're playing. If it has anything to do with video games, we've got it, or we'll get it. Just for starters today, we're going to go over some tips on Ninja Gaiden 2 and Revenge of Shinobi. Wah! That's video power. And every day, we're going to see an exciting, a heart-stopping, a nail-biting animated adventure starring a, a pretty strange collection of video game superstars known as the Power. Well, there's no question that kids are fascinated by video games and computer games, but why? Well, we went to a video game arcade to find out. The road to success is a bumpy ride fraught with complicated twists and turns. But ask any of the kids here why they play and the answer they Hey, we're back in it. Huh. It's pretty uh, bladder empty. Dryer, dryer cleaned out. That hurts. Everything's great. Nothing's not great. Hold it. Go move. How'd you get here? Yeah. Easy now. Cancel. Got a stowaway. Hey. This will be fun. I need to add more. Will it? Though you're dead, though. You were dead now. So, okay, wait, hold... Okay, so hold on a minute. If this is five years after episode three, and and stormtroopers are already recruits and conscripts, where did all the clones go? Where did... A, did were they just, like, baked in with a short uh, lifespan and then they just threw them all into a pit somewhere? Um, that has never been... Or six years? Okay. But that's never been addressed, right? What happened to the entire clone army? Clones age super fast. Okay. Just, hmm. I guess it, yeah, it probably was cheaper to just constrict. Some of them are still clones. Okay. That makes sense. Did you guys record some more videos with Cameron Monaghan? Um, or just a cameo? I think they recorded something, but I wasn't, I wasn't there. I wasn't really involved with that, so I can't. Say, Boba was the only one clone that didn't age fast. Jingo specifically asked for that, I think. Okay. They were grandpas and rebels. Oh, okay. All right. They addressed it in the original Battlefront 2. 501st was always clones. Hmm, all right. All righty. Okay, so the, the gray bar. All right, again. You can block melee, interesting. Or you can parry melee. I like that one one hit from a blaster takes out stormtroopers. Like having having weapons that are like lightsabers whittle down somebody's life bar makes no sense. Same with like blasters that you would have be able to soak like twenty blaster shots. I guess blah 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 blah. Uh, force powers. Um, I'm I'm down with it though because apparently this game does have, um, like, Jedi assassins that basically have lightsaber-proof armor, and that kind of makes a little more sense. And you have a blaster in this game. I don't know. I don't think so. It's more of a Jedi Knight thing, which is an also an awesome game. Uh, that I need to I need to get back to playing. I need to make sure that. Technically, they aren't lasers, you're right. They're like superheated bolts of metal. Oh, they fire ignited gas? Oh, okay. Well, they have bolt They have bolt casters, too. Aside from the gun that's called a bolt caster. Because uh, there was like... Um, I chose to rest instead. That's how I prepare. That's how you prepare for death. Rest when you're dead, Stormtrooper. Some noise there. Direct hit! Okay. Get, get, get I. Uh, let's attack him. Okay. 
cool. Oh, hello. Walk all you want. I only need a few hits. I mean, that's that's accurate, actually. Sorry, I'm trying to get this timing. Oh. You're gonna die, Jedi. Um, you can remember the controls to be more like Sekiro. Uh, that's fine. I can take you myself. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. All right. I'm just the blue outline. What blue outline are they referring to? Is it just the lighting? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Can you do stealth takedowns later in the game? I don't know. Stormtrooper armor is barely better than cloth. The original clone armor is much more resistant and durable, but very costly. Ah, oh, interesting. Are you a great Jedi? Um, no, I would... Unfortunately, I'd be pretty hard Jedi territory. Oh, oops. Sekiro! Oh! Oh! I mean, that was, that was still pretty... Pretty ballin', even if it was unintentional. The fugitive comes this way, I'm ready for it. I'll break your guard. I like how they, they talk to you in game mechanics. I'll break your guard! But now my foot's on your neck, so. Who got broken where, I wonder? Oh, no stealth? Okay. It's all about the Sith life. I don't know, I'm, I'm pretty much a facts and reason kind of guy. Over passion and, like, anger. I think there's a time for that, but uh, and only in terms of controlled release. That's kind of how I would I would think about it. So as much as as much as much it's a wiener thing to say, I gotta be honest, that's kind of my, my philosophy. What am I not seeing here? Won't let me... Right side? Yeah, it wasn't like... Oh, okay. Never mind. It sucks how much easier this game gets with all the powers. Yeah, that's, I mean... Power creep is just a thing in games. People, people like it. People like feeling stronger. They like... Getting better. They like killing people. That's a lot of mans. It's a lot of mans. It's gonna be an interesting fight. Whoop. Now I'm dead. How far back is the checkpoint, I wonder? I wonder. Is it all the way back with the, the stormtroopers yelling at you? Cause that'll be a hell of a thing. Oh, no, okay. Great Jedi, or basically the Qui-Gon way is the best. Wait, Qui-Gon wasn't like hard Jedi? I guess he did fudge, fudge shit a little bit. Yeah, that's that's not too bad at all. Death load stick forever on console. Yeah, Unreal is still a little chunky about that. Luckily, I have the power of the PC on my side. Power of PC and anime. Whoop! Not Sekiro. If, can you parry from any direction? So like... If, uh... Whew. If enemies hit you from behind, can you just tap parry and you'll block it? Qui-Gon was quarter chub Jedi. Yeah, Return of the Jedi Luke was pretty good. Okay, parry from any direction is good to know. What's up, Grace? Welcome. Either good nor evil, just doing what needs to be done. Well, from my point of view, the Jedi are evil. Get to the front. Stop the train. Sounds good. I like the little splashes of color they have with the graffiti in Arabesh. That's a cool look. Whoa, 
Oh no! Need cover. Gotta move in between bursts. Now! Kyle Katarn is, I mean, I, oh! I, uh, I love Jedi Knight and I, uh, Jedi Outcast and all that, but he's kind of a non-character. He's like Han Solo with a, with a laser sword. Took a little nick there. Also, what's up, Halo Dudette? Good to see you. No one would shoot gonk droids. No one would do it. Are you playing us right now? Cal? A, uh... Mis mysterious Jedi that we never heard about until now? Which... Makes a little more sense than something like... Oh, shit. Makes a little more sense than something like Starkiller. Who defeated Darth Vader and the Emperor. He shot the coupling out. There was a... There was a... There's a bridge there. I'm dying a lot. And like in really stupid ways too. Gotta get down. No need for that. Yeah. I just gotta develop my uh uncharted sense about where the ledges and bridges are. Dash Rendar, I mean, also, also just a Han Solo knockoff. Only way is up. I mean, I like Shadows of the Empire a lot, a whole lot. Yeah, this this is pretty full uncharted territory. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Dash Rendar was just Han Solo, but you didn't have to pay Harrison Ford for his likeness or his voice. Even has a Corellian ship? I mean, come on. I mean, come on. He was a mercenary, though, you're right. There wasn't a whole lot of, like, Heart of Gold to him. We're here to help! Who are you? No time! Keep moving! We'll pick you up when we can! What characters do you like? Um... That's a good question. I actually really like Cassian from Rogue One. Um, I really liked Finn and Poe from Episode 7. Episode 8 kind of undid a lot of what I liked about those characters. Um, I think Return of the Jedi Luke is a pretty cool character. It takes him a long time to get there, but at least there is an arc and a change in his character that is, is appreciated. I mean, Han and Leia are like... Best of all time. A super class tier. Do you? Oh, cool. Okay. All right. Nice. I was wondering if you can't actively like direct bolts at different people. Yeah, Chewbacca is really cool. Yeah, don't get hit. Do not die. <laughs> How does the door know to shut when they die? How does it know to do that? What now? When filming the indoor scenes, they'd have people in orange vests hover around the Chewbacca actor so he wouldn't get shot by hunters. Train stuff? Maybe that's where Bigfoot came from. People watching those, those scenes getting shot. Yeah. I've hooked up the door to a heart monitor, so when I die, the door will shut. This can't be good. That's probably fine. 
that's not fine. Whoa. I'm trying to jump. Hup. Yeah, this is... Man. More and more. It is absolutely a uh, an uncharted intro. Oh, fucking Christ, Al. Is he backing off Frostbite? That's a good question. Um, I mean, Respawn is not an EA-owned studio, so they pre they got to choose what they made, right? Um, I would like to think after Anthem, EA would back off of Frostbite. Oh, dear. Going somewhere. I recognize that stance. Hmm. Perhaps you've had some training after all. Who is your master, Padawan? Someone I killed, perhaps. What Jedi gave their life so that you might live? Shit. Amity. So immersed. Get on board. Inquisitors are actually nearly Sith. They just have little to no force abilities. Okay. So they carry lightsabers because that's pretty much the only way to kill a Jedi. Even though when you're in Episode Three and they just get shot in the back, and that's it. Fallen Jedi with force powers, I'm pretty sure. Hmm. Jesus Christ! Nice! Inquisitors are absolutely force users? Okay. But are they Sith? I'm gonna guess no. But yeah, she definitely, she definitely can use the force. That's not really a. Okay, shut that thing off and grab some seat. The Inquisitor troopers aren't force users, but the saber ones are. Okay. Who are you people? My name is Sir Junda, and this is my captain, Grease Dritus. <laughs> How you doing? Yeah, the man is just. These nuts. You better pay attention to this lady. So, who are you? Mookie, thanks for the prime sub. Kestis. Who was that back there? An Imperial Inquisitor. She's a force... Who's the worst character in the entire franchise? And now that she knows who you are... Starkiller? She will not stop until she destroys you. How do you know so much? And why'd you help me? We track but I mean, he's not hes not in canon anymore, so... We heard the Inquisitors were heading to Brock. So we made our move. Oh, yeah? Well, it's the bounty on Jedi these days, anyway. That's gratitude for you. <laughs> Look, I get it. You've been surviving on your own for so long that it's impossible to trust anyone. And it's what's kept you alive. Yeah, Rose is not great. This is about something bigger. Rose is than bad. Just surviving. Like what? Rose is very like bad. Building the Jedi Order. You too. Anybody else? Oh, it's so. For you? I mean, we don't need to get into it. But why was Rose the exact character that Finn was in the last movie? The like innocent, wide-eyed, uh, optimistic. Like they made Finn not that character just so Rose could be that character. But we already had that character. Yeah. Captain. Anyway. Set a course for Bagano. Need to not bring. I don't know. I, uh, Typical nerd. Can't can't help myself. I guess there's no reason to bring it up. In the meantime, Capture Jedi and Padawan who are trained by Vader and then turn to the dark side. Cool. She appealed to me and Asian? I mean, 
I'm all for for represent or representation. I, I'm into it. I think everyone deserves deserve is a strong word, but certainly everyone should have their shot at being believing that they can be in Star Wars. You know, um, and yeah, absolutely. Don't send death threats to the actor. It's not her fault. But uh, gosh, just the math of it, I don't get. You were talking in your sleep. Gosh, that facial animation is a plus. Oh my god, that was great. Some of the stuff you were telling Lawrence is kind of spo spoiler territory. Eh. I mean, I I wouldn't. I'm not gonna. Oh, I'm, I'm not going to uh, welcome spoilers. But at the same time, I wouldn't stream it on Twitch if I didn't think that that were a risk. So she's great and sorry for your loss. Oh, uh, the same actress. Yeah, I mean, I don't think anyone gets cast in Star Wars without being able to act, you know, and having skills. Movies like that don't don't just cast nobody for no reason. Some olives, some figs, some glurm glarps. What's going on here? Some cookies? Got some space cookies? Some space beans? Is that wait? Okay, so wait. Wait, how does there's no lid. There's no lid on that. So like you just like open it a little bit and it starts to like shoot out the bottom and then you gotta like catch it. Then close it again real quick. How do you get your space beans out of that thing? There's a spork. Actually wait! That's the uh that's the same cutlery they gave you in um uh Galaxy's Edge. Uh they stopped doing it because people were stealing them. But there were uh like yeah, a little like ridged spork. Like it that's the way that it's angled to the side like that. That is a, uh, a Star Wars eating utensil. I think they just went to, like, normal cutlery because people kept taking them. Yeah, it's a pretty crazy reference. I mean, working on Star Wars, you do kind of have to get all that shit right. Uh, so they can grow their weed in space. Why isn't it... There's... It's like a space dispensary ship. They just cruise around and you call them up. It's a spork. It's not, I mean, it is a specific kind of spork, but yeah. Oh, is he gonna noodle? He's gonna play the first first ten seconds of Metallica's one. Doo, 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 doo. Alright, hold on wait, hold on. Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, wait, hold on. Oh my god. He's gonna have teen feelings. That song. I wrote it. Years ago. You touch an object and witness events connected to it. You feel its history. Huh. It's an echo in the force from the object. Not many Jedi have that skill. Like Ray? How would you know that? I was once a Jedi, but not anymore. Hmm. Do I know you? No. But I knew your master. Do you like the stuff involving oh. Luke, Ray, and Kylo at all? Yeah, I was into that. True guardian of the Republic. I actually really liked Luke's treatment in Last Jedi. I liked it a lot. I was really, really into it. Listen. Um. Something happened to me during the purge. I survived, but... And I think that they, they did plant a lot of great seeds edge. about additional storytelling. When I meditate. The Knights of Ren and all down, that. I lose control. Mm. And it's like I'm back in that moment when... You survived, Cal. And you're not alone. Not anymore. we we'll come out on our destination. Yeah, Fiori, exactly. When she felt the lightsaber's history and Force Awakens. Which was a really cool shot, actually. Uh, that'll never not be cool. Ships going into and out of hyperspace in Star Wars. The only bad part about it was emo Kylo. I actually really like Kylo Ren. I like the way Adam Driver plays him. I like his writing. I think he's a great villain. Um, and a different kind of villain. 
which is so hard to what's the plan we hard to carve out in Star Wars we're done hiding Cal see that structure over there I believe that vault holds the key to rebuilding the Jedi Order but it requires someone strong in the force to pass its test and since you're not a Jedi anymore that's why you need me I know you don't trust me and I'm not really sure I trust you well, all the VODs you have a common the VODs for all the streams you do be this for this to be available. Yes, Kick Ninja. Share more of my plan after you I upload them all to my YouTube channel, and I'm actually Until then. After years of being behind, I am one week away from being all caught up. May the force be with you. So ideally I'll stream on a given day and then that VOD will go up the following day. Like that that fast. I've got my sort of like recording and, and flow down. And certainly adding pausing recordings to OBS is gonna save me a lot of time because I don't have to edit out all the copywritten shit that I do anymore. Um, and wait for an export. Oh, level up! Water. Splooshy water. Thoughts on Ray? I... I think it's too early to say. Like, if you asked me about Luke at the end of episode 5, I'd be like, I hate him. Um, but I think with Jedi, they tied a lot of stuff in and really managed to build on a lot of stuff they set up, they teed up, so... The problem is, at the end of Episode 8, I don't think Rey has nearly the, the conflict, the stakes, or the ability to grow. And good writing can turn a lot of that around, but... Um, I really liked Rey in Episode 7. I liked her a lot. I think Daisy really does a really good job performing her, too. Episode 8 is just confusing. Um, again, don't want to get into it, but I think compared to, like, Empire... And where Empire sort of put the pieces on the board for the characters and and the things they have to resolve and the conflicts that are that are up in the air. Up, oh! no, come back, my friend. But I actually, really like Ray a lot. I like her a lot. I think she's a great sort of ah. <laughs> I think she's a great uh, uh, the way she's the subtleties that they're giving the character, which they're there, um, are interesting. When you think about Kylo as just the dark side version of original trilogy Luke, he's learning a lot of stuff while struggling along the way. Yeah, I I tend to agree. Okay, he looks at his hand like the force is supposed to work but doesn't. Look at that cute little guy. Look at this pure little boy. Just just looking, hanging around. Hey there. Hey. Ah! Damn it. Why is his lightsaber frayed at the end? Huh? Who's? Oh, that's cool! You can cut the grass? Oh, we Zelda now, huh? Oh, that is sick. Um, it doesn't... looks pretty normal to me. No, I'm, I'm absolutely not killing the pure, innocent creatures. I love them. They're my friend. I feel like somebody fucked up when making Snoke, which is that they killed him off so easily in 8. I don't know. I thought Snoke was okay. I mean, what was what was Palpatine? I mean, Palpatine wasn't even in Episode 4. In Episode 5, you saw a very small amount of him, so... I think it's just important to remember, we don't... Like, Episode 9 could, could change a lot of stuff. My mind. I feel like Episode 8 had the best and dumbest scenes in Star Wars. That yeah, sounds accurate to me. I will open the skill tree. That's pretty cool UI. I like that. Alright. Eh. Whoa. Pop his little head off. Okay. Staggers in one hit. Boop. What is this game lacking compared to modern Western open-world RPGs? Too early for me to say that. Also, kind of a kind of a loaded question. Um, I think the reason they killed Snoke is because only one Sith Lord can exist at a time. Hey, BD One. I'm Cal. Uh, yeah, I'm okay. Where did? I'm looking for someone. Where did our sweet boy come no, from? Not you. Searching for a, a Jedi, I think. Put auto lock on now if not already. It's you annoying if not. Oh, like it, no. when you kill something, it doesn't automatically lock on to the next thing. Did you just slice that? 
Thanks. Do they have an existing relationship? How does... How does BD-1 just pop out all of a sudden? You're gonna find out? Okay. Alright, good. I'm glad that it's not something that, like, they just won't acknowledge. Sith Lords operate on Highlander rules? Uh, well, Master and Apprentice, more or less. That's the Vault Seer mentioned. Whoever I'm supposed to find must be waiting there. Ah, uh, map! God bless a good map. Took me six hours of play to get used to the slightly slower and heavier movement. It feels like Respawn missed a lot of quality of life adjustments many other games of this type already figured out. Interesting. Cool thing is in the Luke Kylo flashback scene. Oh yeah, no Colin, I, I saw that. I saw that making the rounds on, uh... I saw that making the rounds on Twitter. Everybody's... Everybody suddenly realized that thing. Not that I did. I mean, the thing is, it doesn't... kind of doesn't matter. Things like that only matter if, if people acknowledge them and they mean something. I think Ryan Johnson did a lot of stuff that's like, it's cute for him, but nobody else can really even... Nobody else really even notices it watching the movie, which doesn't matter at that point. I don't know. I have that issue with Ryan Johnson. I, I typically wouldn't say many people are too clever for their own good, but sometimes I'm like, you gotta dial it back, man. You gotta fucking stop. I thought that, like, back with Looper and with Brick, and I'm just like... Stop rubbing it in how smart you think you are. Stop it. I don't think that's what it is. I think he's just trying to do something clever. But it does come off as a little try-hard for me. Bug. Whereas I think... I don't know. Other... Oh! Oh, you got, you're gonna be mad, huh? Boop. Jesus. Bugs ain't worth shit. I'm a goddamn Jedi. Oh, can we wall run now? Maybe not. Hey! Oh, they, don't tell me you guys got... Got corpse physics. We're gonna get some lore? It was after boggling eggs and the pack fought back. Alright. Okay. There's psych psychometry. Cal can receive information from the force when he touches certain items. Alright. Not a bad way to do pick upables and Yes, that's why BD1 warned me. Open open world shits. Alright, maybe I'll listen to you next time. Yeah, the music has been really good so far. I mean I'm sure that information's out there. Who did the score? Yeah. Cal, don't Cal, you need to stay out of my bedroom. There's a lot of things you could touch in there that I don't need that information going anywhere. Oof. Wish the music for this game would kick in louder during combat. Yeah, I guess you could probably, uh... Probably tweak that. Yeah. Usually that's... And sometimes there are a lot of games lately where I do want to punch the music up a little bit. Um, and usually you just... You turn down all the other sound effects. And then turn the volume up on your... Any ideas? Headphones or TV or whatever. Somehow. Is it fine? <laughs> I always do love this sort of, like, curious, playful, pensive, like, woodwind stuff. It's, it's extremely Star Wars. Whoa! Oh. How'd you know that would work? That's cute. Wait, you didn't? Stephen Barton and Gordy Hobb. Mm, okay. Try the cool, crisp, refreshing taste of a Colt 45? Yeah. Believe me, I've, I've put enough 45s in my body to last a while. Of all kinds. They make fucking booze seltzer tall boys now. Which means we live in a beautiful world filled with wonder. Hmm. 
you get the chance to meet this main character in the Funhouse playthrough? Nope. They did I not tell you, me that they were doing that. Here I want to explore. Oh, there's another Forsyth going there. Okay, so yeah, you, uh... Okay, you can free jump. That's interesting. What is this place? Let's see here. I gotta use the fans to get over there. I was worried that this game would have canned jumps. Like, you can only jump to things that, uh... That, like, you can land on, as opposed to actually being able to jump anywhere and having, like, real platforming going on. The Jedi used this place to study the sphere above. I can still feel the excitement. Can you not read them? Is that just it? It's just it's just that. Oh, okay. Well. Could have done with some more lore, but. When is that not the case? That's basically it just snippets? Alright, alright. Oh. I'll live with it. I'll survive. Uh, opinion on the game so far? I mean I I'm I'm super enjoying it, but uh I did basically just start, so... Um, I don't know that I, ha I have enough information in my brain to form a have a well-formed opinion just yet. Yeah, that crate's gonna be a, a pain in the ass. Can't climb up? Oh, hmm. Guess then I gotta wait until I can... Oh, wait. Hmm. Oh, okay, there we go. Just had to hit the red buttons. The right Bhutan. I was pressing A, it just wasn't doing it. Weird. Alright, well, it's certainly doing it now. Hit! Go left. Huh? Yeah, it's been it's been stable on PC though. I've heard people have had issues, but hmm, hmm, hmm. So this is the first of like. I mean, you're busy. Get over here. I want to look at the map. Not allowed. BD one. Oh, oh, that's cool. So just going to where BD1 is, you'll get cool stuff. Yeah, I just I want to explore first. Oh. Hi. Oh. Ow. What? What happened? What's going on? What? What? Killed you. Restore your XP. I feel your life. Okay, Dark For Dark Souls rules. Might. <sighs> okay. Okay then. Ogdo Bogdo. <laughs> Jacob's favorite Star Wars character. I mean, every character you meet is Jacob's favorite Star Wars character. Come back to that one later. Yeah. Probably can't get that yet. I'll be back. Alright, buddy. Do it now. Uh, it takes a long time to run back. I'll try it one more time and not, like, try to soak a hit. Let's see how long I can stay alive in there. But I'm not going to waste a ton of time because it's... Getting one shot by an enemy is a pretty strong indicator that you're not you're not ready for prime time yet. Also, if like if there was a if there was a checkpoint right outside, then it might be a little more a little more encouraging. But smells worse than Grease does.
All you have to do is hit it? Oh. What's that? Ah, uh, okay. That actually may be doable. Don't have health items yet? Oh, you can eventually heal yourself? I mean, if I'm getting one shot, health items don't matter. Red means no parry. Got it. Well, I mean, blocking the other thing didn't really matter. And it, also, if you block a thing that doesn't have a block meter, what does it do? Or is it just a temporary stun? I'll try it one more time. Um, Carmella, thank you for the, the resub. Oh, 36 months though. That's three years. Wait, is it? Yes, it is. Totally doable, just believe in the force. You're right. I need to believe in the heart of the cards. I mean, I can just cheese it by- oh wait, no, I'm out of- Shit. You have to hit it to get force power back? Ow. Okay. Damn it. Got stuck on the box. I think I can do that. I think I can do it, though. Hmm. Just learning the timing. Try dodging sideways. Oh man. Yes, it's happening. It's happening. The tips are rolling in. Yeah, I'm not- I'm only gonna try it a couple more times. Whoa! Text twice. Is dodging sideways a tip? I mean... Anything that like... When somebody asks you to use a basic game mechanic... Yeah. Um, watch the cheeks. See? There we go. It's happening. Look at the enemy. The... <laughs> I don't know. It's only good fun, I get that, but sometimes they'll like... Yeah, attacking the enemies. When people are pointing out like the... <laughs> just the most basic gameplay mechanics. Perhaps you should try hitting and not getting hit. Uh, yeah, I want to try parrying it, though. I'm, I'm curious if it's worth the, the effort. You can't see it! If it's... If it's glowing because it killed you, you can't see it turn red. You can't when it's red. Dodging too early. Thank you, Dreamer. Yes, you're right. You're absolutely right. Those are, those are tutorial windows that just popped up, and I'm glad you're... <laughs> I know! I know that! Gosh. Uh. Yes. The South Park game. If you're having difficulty with the enemies, try getting better at the game. Yeah, I, I assumed... Uh, I assumed foolishly that it would not do an unblockable attack as the first attack. Uh, it makes the sound, too, which is useful. Does it turn? Nope. What? Oh, okay. What? You can't strong attack if you're... Okay, I'm learning. Hmm, okay. You can't... This is actually really good. It's because it's teaching me about all the basic rules of it. So I did the weak attack, then I hit B. Swinging hard requires the force. Okay, that's good to know. 
Um, didn't know that. Uh, but I did the weak attack, and then I hit B. Thinking like Sekiro rules, I'd be able to cancel my attack animation into a dash. But I don't think you can do that. That doesn't seem like something you can do. So if you go into an attack, you're stuck until your recovery's over. Which is interesting. Just means I have to be a little more um, judicious about when I attack. Which is fine, I can do that. You're on the hardest difficulty? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, I am. God, that that pause is interesting. That that's an in okay. There's some game mechanic there. All right. Perfect timing on the. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. The uh, the biggest problem is yeah, it's all in the cheeks. I think you're right. Yeah, the uh, so he looks like he has three unblockable attacks. He's got the belly flop, the tongue, and then the charge. Thing is, like he waits the perfect amount of time for the charge, so if you just, if you dodge roll the second you see the, the telegraph, you get hit by it. Which is, which is pretty good. That's kind of how this, this shit works, right? It's meant to punish you for just, tr just flow charting the, you have to actually, like, react to shit. Which I like. Okay, that's an important thing to learn. Uh, I thought the only unblockable attack you, he would do if you're in close range is the belly flop. Uh, mouse keyboard? No, I'm using a controller. Yeah, the greed. I was getting a little greedy. You're right. I thought I thought he was gonna flop, and then I could just dark. I could roll away. But uh, almost there. Almost there. Got to dissect some stuff. <laughs> Thank you, button. This is, this is why I stream, you guys. It's because I have cultivated ultimate video game skill, and it would be a shame if I didn't share, th if I didn't share that with the world. If I didn't perform video game miracles on a daily basis. Alright, you piece of shit. Okay! That's new. I thought if I could... I thought if I backrolled, I would be out of range of his little chompy attack. But, I'm not. So that means I either have to... I either have to... Be wary of the timing windows, or... Start the roll sooner? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, he got me back. He did. He, he saw me he saw me feeling myself and was like, nope. Maybe come back and level up a bit. Yeah, maybe. I mean, that's, that's clearly what's intended here, but... Fuck that. I see. So this is the thing. I I like doing hard things. I like it. It's fun for me. So. Or maybe I should just stay in and try to try to parry that shit. Oh, okay. He's okay. Never mind. He's got two different. He's got two different little chompies. He's got a fast one and a slow one. The bigger Chompy, the one, like his vertical attack, is the one that, um, has the more range on it and can one-shot me. Okay. I think I got his number now. That doesn't mean I'm gonna beat him this time, but I think I got his number. I'll be, I'll play a little safer. I'm trying to stay in and, like, trying to stay in and parry everything. Well, I'm not even trying to parry everything, but... Just getting, feeling it out. 
Yeah, no, you're you're absolutely right, uh, Egav. There's there's a number of attacks that are 100% um, baitable and parryable, and they're not even that hard to like react to. So I'm just trying to I'm just trying to st style a little bit. Ooh. Fuck, fuck! Ah, uh, I knew I misread that. I knew I misread that when it happened. It's interesting too to like, you can force slow him, and that really changes the timing of it. When you slow and then hit them, it cancels it out. Okay, that's good to know, because like, it looked like the visual effect stayed. So it's like, can you just spam attacks on them? But no, you, you slow and then you get one hit and then they go back to normal, right? That's all this is good information, and this is like slow after after the stagger is finished. Slow after the stagger. Oh, oh, okay, I see what you mean. Uh, yeah, I guess if I do that, that's a safe way to like maybe get one more hit in and then get out. Get out, but <laughs> listen to Duel of the Fates. I think it will help actually hype me up. <sighs> that is. I guess I should have known the sound. The sound tell is still there, but not not the best design oversight to have that little glow absolutely mask the uh, invincibility tell. Stop before you break something on your desk. I'm not. No, I'm not getting mad. Come on, getting mad is what babies do. Champions learn and adapt and excel and overcome. Defense can be broken after some strong hits, yeah. Uh. Ah. Fuck! Two in a row, huh? All right. No, he got me. Okay. I got pushed into the wall that time. Okay. Get tense from watching this? Good. Good. You get a free hit early by using force slow before you get your force back. Yeah, that's a that's a good call. Get some get some chump hits hits in on them. Unlucky? Ah, you make your own luck. I kinda I gotta watch Whoops! Alright. You gotta watch the uh, the directions you're you're dodging. Dark Souls, Sekiro rules. Be aware of your surroundings. You can get above him and get a f get big free hit. Oh, like, like soul style. You can dive in on him. <laughs> all right, all right, piece of shit. All right. What are you doing? What is this? Fuck. Woo. All right. Woo, I got really lucky there. Woo! Hmm. 
Agdobado defeated. Reach into his guts and pull his heart out. Eat it. Gain some life. What do I do? Do I... Oh. That's just window dressing. Jam my hand into his Agdobado crap. Suck all the force out. Oh, okay. Ogling was killed. Is it trying to defend its family? Need the robot for the box? Oh, okay. Alright, well. Oh, that's that's the big hit right there. That's kind of cool. Yeah, killed the dad. That's Star Wars, man. Everything's sad. Come back again later. Oh, he's, he comes back? Cool. Yeah, I'm just starting the game, Ren. Just starting the game. Taking out mini bosses. That was fun. That was good. That's like. It's, there's always a. You know, you gotta audit a game's systems and sort of get a feel for its timing and its mechanics. And I feel like I, I understood a good amount of them. So the double tap does give you. Um, the double tap is the dodge from, from Sekiro, though. It gives you immunity, and I think you can. Yeah, you can, you can interrupt. Uh, you can totally interrupt uh, attack recovery with it. Yeah, so. There's a bit of a delay on the... Ah, uh, okay, so th there is a window where you can you can interrupt. It's not as generous, though. Every time you meditate, it refreshes the enemies. Oh, even even those guys? The bigger guys with the like life bars and stuff? Did you finally kill a toad? Yup. That doesn't look safe. Oh, it's a little, little tippy-tap. Back at the scrapyard. Oh, not the bosses? Okay. Oh, Jesus! Cool. Ow! Fuck. I'm not gonna die to this thing. I'm not! Jerk. Well, this is where that Dark Souls tweet came from. People... Yeah. Gotta do it. Love to see it. Aww. You can sever creatures but not humans? Yeah, it seems like it. Um, which is interesting. Dismembering uh, stormtroopers is a Star Wars video game tradition. <laughs> interesting. I guess you can tell B B B D one to go get that at some point. You can cut those pipes. Oh, pff, right. I have a laser sword. If only you had a cutting tool. They seem like they were uh, load bearing. Didn't want to create a problem. Whoever lived here used this room for storage. They kept food and supplies. No. The, for the force told you that? Oh my god. Cal Cal's unique power is that he has eyeballs and a functioning brain. It seems they store jugs on the wall here. Yeah, dude. Everyone sees that. <laughs> Look at the big brain on Cal. Hey there, buddy. That was pretty brave. You okay? It is kind of a rare power in Star Wars, but you're right. I can help you with that. Will you let me? Oh, no. Gotta put a little cone around his head. Okay. Well, I'm in love. Hmm. Well, your scomplink is busted. I mean, pretty good, uh... Get moving for now. Pretty good narrative shit to, like, show you him being all hurt, and then you repair him. To see you have that moment, being like, "Oh no, no, okay. not my best butt, butt pal." The vault. 
Yeah, that's where I was headed too. Okay, well, first we gotta figure out a way out of this place. Huh. I don't like what I see there. I don't like what that is. I don't like what's going on. Uh, BD, that's a little small for me. Don't worry, I'll find my own way out. Tight fit, but this should work. Go back and customize? Oh. Can you use the workshop? Oh. You're right? I don't know, I didn't like... I didn't buy any DLC or anything, so I don't think I have any special goodies. Yeah. Nothing going, nothing to it, but... Good to know. That's a, that's a neat, definitely a neat thing. If the lightsaber is your only weapon, it's pretty important to give people options to tinker with it. You can change from blue to green. Oh, okay. Yeah. I like blue. What's that sound coming from? Ambiance. Star Wars architecture is so fucking weird. Just a giant, circular, big ass room. Those vines look like they lead somewhere. Hope for, for one bed all the way in the corner and a desk kind of recessed into the wall. Some blinking shit on. Like, why all this empty space? I get it. Video game architecture is its own thing, too. Yeah, really tall ceilings. What setting you run this on? Maximum! Always! Whoop! Okay, I didn't expect that to happen, but. I'm up here now. And I guess I found what was sparking. Now this is PC. Maximum ultra settings. Oxy Zealots, uh, is this game worth buying? I don't know. Oh, I get healing now? Um. Oh, it gives you a little, a little back to vial or something. Healing stem. A little monster energy drink. We're full of surprises. But uh, I'm in, I'm enjoying it a lot so far. Um, it's better. And the reviews seem pretty positive on it. So. Okay, let's try this again. Oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> Here, hop on board. Yeah. Yeah! Robot pal! So, oh, okay. how'd you get here? Yeah. Don't remember. <laughs> Cal Kestis, a former Jedi Padawan, has been hiding out on Bracca since Order 66. Cal joined a scrapping crew and lived in hiding for years, but blew his cover when he used the Force to save his friend Prowl from a deadly fall. This prompted the ruthless Second and Ninth Sisters to attack him. Cal was narrowly saved by two mysterious individuals, Serjunda and Gris Dridus. Or Dridus? I don't know. Now they find themselves on the remote planet Bogog Bogano, ready to discover the secrets of an ancient vault. Well, BD1 is the best. Yeah, I I mean, I, yeah, I'm not really qualified to say if it's worth buying or not, but it sure does seem like it. Hmm. Bracca is a poor mid-rim world dominated by rocky plains. It was the site of a fierce campaign during the Clone, ba Clone Wars. Really? Battles in orbit and on the surface raged as Separatists attempted to wrest the away Republic control of the system. The Separatists were aided by sympathizers from within the Scrapper Guild, nearly leading to their victory over the planet. In retaliation, the newly formed Empire cut wages and lowered safety standards within Bracca scrapyards. Awesome. Idbis Maw. Bracca is home to the Idbis Maw, a superorganism that superficially resembles Tatooine Sarlax. The various mouths of the Ibdis Maw connect to a vast, distributed digestive system that provides hundreds of meters below Bracca's surface. Jesus Christ. Wiser Panda, thank you for the resub. Uh, the, mouths of the, the mouths of the Maw that reside in the scrapyard have swollen to immense size fed by a steady diet of starship material. That's awesome! There's like a giant, almost planetary-sized slug under, under the surface of the planet that just eats starships? Shit. How's Star Soul so far? I really like it, Mother Trucker, so far. 
The Scrapper Guild is a network of engineers and laborers that operate in concert with the Galactic Empire, recycling and repurposing technology, machinery, and infrastructure throughout the galaxy. Since the rise of the Empire, the Scrapper Guild has focused heavily on an expensive but highly successful campaign to do away with all vehicles, equipment, and technology associated with the Republic. Okay. That... That checks out, I guess. I never really thought about why there wasn't much pre-Episode 3 stuff in Episodes 4, 5, and 6. But I guess if they really wanted to erase that error in history... There you go. Scrapping is the most profitable industry on Bracca. During the Clone Wars, the planet's facilities were optimized to break down enormous flagships. Now it continues to be a center for the disposal of starships despite Imperial ire with the Scrapper Guild. Bracca's cargo trains serve as high-speed transport network for parts being shipped off-world. The average shipment travels... Through 25 security checkpoints before being exported to the core worlds for resale. Interesting. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I read that one. Sir June is a former Jedi who survived Order 66. After years in seclusion, she teamed up with Starship Captain Grease Dritus on a secret mission to rebuild the Jedi Order. After saving Cal from the Imperial Inquisitors, Inquisitorius, she begins to mentor him. I mean, I'm guessing. Yeah, book burning, basically. It's pretty wild. Which, meh, not gonna get into it. Nope. Nope, almost last Jedi for a second. Not gonna do it. Won't do it. Refuse to do it. Reese Dritus is a forearm Latero and Captain of the Mantis. Latero, maybe? He works for Sierra Junda and appears to hold her in high esteem despite otherwise curmudgeonly nature. After saving Kel on Bracca, Grease reluctantly accepts the young Jedi's friendship. Nice. Kel encounters BD1 while exploring a mysterious world, Bogano. Uh, did they ever explain why BD1 is just chilling out on Bogano? I don't know. What do you think of the Mandalorian? Um, I honestly didn't care about it before, but I freaking love it. I love it too. Um, each episode, well, there's only been two episodes, but I really, really like it. Um, oh, they do explain it? Okay, cool. BD1 is curious, good natured, and ultra utterly fearless in the face of danger. He's quickly grown attached to Cal and seems intent on leading the young Jedi towards something or someone waiting inside the ancient vault that looms over Bagano's horizon. Oh, well, that might explain it. A relentless Imperial, a relentless Imperial Inquisitor, the second sister, arrives on Bracca to hunt Cal Kestis. Surviving a, a surviving Jedi, Jedi Padawan, bleh. Statistically toying with her prey, she ruthlessly kills Cal's friend, Prowf, before striking. In the attack, Cal's forced to flee, barely escaping, but the hunt has only begun. Oh man, so many people! The sardonic ninth sister joins the second sister in hunting for Cal Kestis on Bracca. Powerful Drautin? The ninth sister's presence creates a terror wherever she goes, a fact she relishes. Jaro to Paul. The memory of Jaro T'Pol, Cal's deceased master, still haunts the former Padawan. An opposing Lasat, Jaro T'Pol survived the Republic with distinction, or served the Republic with distinction during the Clone Wars. Cool. Ah. Ambraka, the Abed Abedneto, scrap worker named Prowf, befriends and mentors Cal. When an accident almost claims Prowf's life, Cal uses the Force to save him, but recklessly reveals himself as a Jedi. Soon Imperial Inquisitors arrive for Cal, but Prowf gives his own life to save him, allowing Cal a chance to escape. Ah, that's actually a really Forgetful droid. pretty solid setup. Can't argue with that. Worst thing about the Mandalorian is the episodes are too short. I need more. Yeah, Super John, it's it's actually been a long time since I've been excited to watch a TV show, like week over week. I'm excited to watch the next episode, and I can't. I will when it's out, and it's just been it's been so long. I think Mr. Robot was the last show like that. I'm usually not a big TV guy, so. Hey, a chest. Think the Jedi would mind if we grab supplies? <laughs> What is it? Oh, okay, cool. That's uh also a really f a really goddamn cute uh chest opening animation. All right, I'm going to go back and open that chest that was in the Hey, what are you doing? Oh. Generally a hyper aggressive territorial species, bog rats. Gradually formed mutualistic relationships with Splocks. Splocks will disturb a bogling nest, luring them into the surface to be ambushed and eaten by bog rats. Once the adult boglings are out of the way, spurrow Splocks burrow into their nests and devour the eggs. Alright. There was another one of these in here, right? Yeah. Oh, can you not. You still back there? Is that not how it works? Oh, you can just talk to him whenever you want! Holding up okay? Ah! Oh! Good shit. Can open a red chest until later in the game. Alright, well, th thank you for... Ooh. Oh. Hmm. I actually kind of like that one. 
does it, it doesn't change the look of the blade, right? The emitter. It's just what the, the end looks like. The map doesn't mark custom waypoints or boxes you saw before. Oh, uh, so that's something that I, uh, I was actually curious about with this game. And one of the things I really like about Tomb Raider... Yeah, that's Luke's saber. Yeah. It's, one of the things I really like about Tomb Raider is that around the end of the game, they basically give you the tools to mark everything on the map so you can go get it all if you want to without having to, like, look up YouTube guides or read walkthroughs or whatever. Does this game have anything like that? No. I can feel it. Or do you need to be pretty exhaustive looking around? I like exploring, I think, as, as evidenced. I'm certainly taking my time wandering through this game so far. I wonder if... Did they attack you before you attack them? I should probably... Oh, you do get a little experience for it. It seems kind of inconsequential, though. Yes, they do. Got the tofu, what'd you miss? Nothing. I didn't I didn't say anything, I didn't do anything. Everything's exactly like you left it. it marks off paths and tells you if it's blocked off. Okay. Gotta look for your own. It does tell you how many are left on the planet though. Okay. That's enough guidance, I think. Um That's just enough for me to drive myself completely insane. If there's like one thing left on a planet that I just can't find. Whoa. Okay, I'll look. You mapped everywhere we've been. I see. Oh, it hops on your back. Oh, oh it's so cute. I will, I will die for BD1. Can't make it over there. We gotta find another way. We'll die for my king. Whoops! Alright, well, it still works. No big. We're good. A good khaki lightsaber? Yeah. My favorite lightsaber is plaid. Something we can use? Poncho material. Cool. Yeah! Ole! Let's do it. I love it. Customizable ponchos. The one thing Star Wars has, has been waiting for. Fought the giant frog? Yeah. No, I, I killed that shit already. Are you gonna tell me that every time? Maximum force. Actually, would, maximum life, probably I should... Protect target, jump on dash, and flip over target instead. Huh. I should probably just get more life, though. Normally, I, I hold off on, like, fundamental upgrades like that to play, like, more of a, a technical game. But if, uh, if I'm playing on, on G Grandmaster, G Grandmaster, Ultimate Gamer Mode, then the goal really should just be taking the upgrades that progress you towards the uh, victory condition as fast as possible. This tool was used by someone eager to reach the vault. Yeah, okay, sure. Um, I noticed that, that scanning those echoes doesn't really give you an XP boost or anything. It's like, if you complete the set, do you get a boost? I'm just assuming that the game has some kind of... some kind of thing to reward you. Yeah, murdered him good, didn't we? Oh, uh, okay. Where'd Frogman go? Oh, there's always a bigger frog. Oh. 
Can I? Oh! Oops! That's still a one. That's still a one-hit kill, huh? You can force push when they're red to stagger. You can force push if you're allowed to force push, and I haven't unlocked that shit yet. So, uh, JC, I'm enjoying it so far. Oh, oh! I was in the recommended channel list. All right. Well, real Baggins, welcome. I'm just here playing some video games. Uh, playing this one on on the hardest difficulty because that's that's typically my get down. I figure the way I can distinguish myself on Twitch is by, uh... By, uh... Accomplishing gaming miracles on a daily basis. Gaming miracles. I need you to help over there, bud. Come on. This is a team effort now. Oh, that's new. kind of cool. There's like some uh, Metroid Prime element of like if you scan an enemy then you get to learn about its weak points and stuff. Sever the tongue with a combination of force attacks and lightsaber attacks. Highly dangerous lightsaber resistant. The Ogdo is a highly threatening alpha predator at the top of the Bogano food chain. This creature attacks with an adhesive tongue capable of reaching 8 meters in length and latches onto its prey and pulls them into its jaws. From this form of strike is particularly effective against most foes due to its thick hide it is able to resist a straight on lightsaber attack it's extremely dangerous at close range, often leaping at a target to close the distance. Ogdo Bogdo! <laughs> oh, okay. Inter so it's like a boss version of the normal enemy. Alright. Where Ogdo Bogdo was a fiendishly formidable abomination, even deadlier than its common relative. Hypergressive predator attacks with ferocity, constantly maneuvering towards its prey to inflict greater injury at close range. Creature speed and stamina are unmatched, making it difficult to parry or strike its lightsaber resistant shell straight on. Kind of wish I knew about that, knew about that Chung thing, but now I now I got something to work on for next time. <laughs> Idiot. Can't get it to work. Oh, is it force push time? Oh, maybe not. There's a save up there, go and save and do it again, cut the tongue. I mean, I'm gonna run into more of them. So, I'm sure, I'm sure that that's not the last Ogdo that old cow will be facing down. Uh, how many times did I dive into the Ogdo Bogdo? Yeah, 10 sounds about right. Oh, there is a save right. Well, man, you weren't kidding. It is right here. Oh, that doesn't give you your heals back, though. That's interesting. Oh, I guess you have to manually rest? Oh, it does if you rest. Okay. Oh. No. Okay, so... Okay, so you can sit there. Gives you your... Wait, did it... Does it give you your health back if you don't rest? 
Get the tongue. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. The people have demanded tongue. Tongue will be done. Tongue will be sliced. It's just a checkpoint if you don't rest. Okay, got it. Going to my friends to check out to, ch uh, to check out this game. Debit card got lost, so I can't get it on PC. Can be hyped with this Snyder Cut tweets. Oh, is is that a thing? People talk about Snyder Cut all of a sudden, like it's a real thing now. Great. Uh. Okay, I can't be locked on. I guess. I got a dodge roll earlier. Oh, you have to slow it, then cut. Smart. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Excellent idea. What? Oh, hey, was it close enough? Horsepower. Okay, I got enough for one more. I don't think... I went through it. Maybe you gotta hit the, the, the tip? Just the tip? Okay. Or just hit the mouth part? Uh, yeah? Hmm. Hmm. I'm pretty hurt. On the man. I'm gonna stream Beach Shenmue 3? You know I am. You know it. I'm excited for that. You have to force pull, I think. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, the lore said you can. I mean, they wouldn't. They wouldn't say that for no reason. You think this game would just make up stuff? No. This is real life. You need to have force pull to cut the tongue. Okay. Thank you, Colin. I would have spent a very long time uh, <laughs> trying to do that. I mean, farming XP, I guess. So it's not. Not for not. Whoop! I see you down there. I see you, treasure. You think I'm just not gonna get that treasure? Is that what you think? Except I'm not sure how to get there, actually. Because you can't. No, you can't wall jump. Hmm. Oh, you probably have to, uh. Probably have to, uh. Oh! Have wall run to get over there. Oop. Oh, I can scan that guy, I think. Yeah! Cool. I am so down with, like, bestiary lore. Pair of fish inhabit large bodies of water, feeding primarily on small algae, fragments, and other plants. When algae supply grows scarce, many fish die off. Their comp decomposition process raises the acidity of the water, gradually wearing away at the ground below and forming sinkholes. Ah. Got a scan? Bog rat. Oh, okay, interesting. Common pest, the bog rat is a simple predator that feeds off small creatures like boglings. Their poor eyesight makes them an easy prey to natural enemy. The ogdo, often attacking packs in packs, they will surround their foes in numbers. 
Appearing to retreat, they are known to burrow below ground as a slight defense before springing back, surprising their prey. Hardened skin makes them somewhat resistant to lightsaber attacks. Okay. Thanks, BD-1. One thing that reminds me, one of the things I love about the Mandalorian is that so much of it is focused on... That was weird. Um, man versus nature conflict. Which is something that has been in Star Wars. Just reminders that, like, the universe is big and scary. What the hell is a terrarium seed? Oh, like, you can get a terrarium on your ship, I'm guessing? Uh, but, like, Empire... The first third of Empire is the characters trying to survive on a scary planet. Um, Tatooine, like, they, they kind of reinforce that the planet is scary. And even though it's, even though it's like, ah, Jawas and Sand Troopers, like, they're not, uh, not technically nature. They kind of are. Like, they're kind of just assumed to be natural, natural hazards of Tatooine. And Mandalorian is very much about that. Of, like, this universe, if you're not paying attention, will kill you. Um, because it's wild and untamed and big and scary and... Mandalorian is so much about that. Um, and I'm getting vibes out of this, too, where it's like... You're not just cutting through stormtroopers for hours. You're on a planet alone, and that is also a problem. Or can be a problem. Mugiwara, thanks for dropping in. Hope your workday went, went okay. Glad you decided to watch. Game has lots of wildlife, too. Yeah! That's like... That's some of the, the vibe that's just kind of gone. I mean, Force Awakens and Last Jedi don't really have those things, and certainly the prequels didn't. Um, it was all just plot plot and people with swords delivering dialogue. Kind of lost that aspect of you're in a big, crazy world. I mean, like, Last Jedi had the, the Pokemon and the Salt Planet, but, like, it was just a backdrop for a human drama. That didn't actually matter. Ooh. Ooh. I love how just like trippy. Game. Oh, teach me how to wall run. Yeah. Try again. It's difficult, master. Yeah, they had fish yes, and bigger fish. That, that was the intent of that scene, wasn't it? Impossible. Yeah. But with persistence. Oh, tiny cow. Ally, you will overcome any obstacle. It's always a bigger fish. You will master any path. Now. Do what you must to reach me. Cool. Good, Padawan. Good. Again. Now. Padawan. Today we are going to learn sick parkour skills. I did it. Persistence and the Force is my ally. All right. Just remembering old tricks. I'm guessing they're going to have me come back through this area. Or do I need to backtrack to get that? I'm going to backtrack to get that treasure. Not the best day. Uh, oh, I'm already backtracking. Okay. Hmm. How are you liking this game? I'm, I'm enjoying it a lot so far. It's got a lot of the vibe of uh, a lot of the elements of Star Wars that I, I enjoy. The combat's pretty good. It's uh, playing it on the hardest difficulty. It's not no slouch for difficulty yet. Think you can show me that shortcut again? Oh yeah, that. Yep. I guess we'll see. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how it how it all st shakes out in the end. Sometimes in games like this, you just you get one or two upgrades that sort of break a lot of the difficult difficulty mechanics, and that's just it. The game is sort of trivialized at that point. Uh, this hmm, maybe this isn't wall wall run area. I mean, I feel like that's not. I want to. I want that treasure, goddammit! You will give me that treasure. Or maybe they won't. Oh, yeah, they will. Yeah, they will. Yeah, they will. This area was used for meditation. There's someone familiar with the Jedi Order. Okay. Anyone else is stream dying? Uh, I hope not. Oh, uh oh. If, um. 
let me check. Let me check my uh, my stream stats. I have my stuff running on another computer, so oh, it's fine. Okay. Had a lag spike. Hey. How dare they? How dare they? How dare they? How dare they? Dropped frames for a moment? Okay. I'll just check in on everything, make sure the text looking looking swell. Yeah, it does seem like I dropped a, f a few frames at some point, but uh, looks like it's good now. How's my phone doing? Oh, it still needs to get charged. Plug that baby in. Ha! And actually, I'm now remembering Cramnell. I don't know if you're still around, but I owe you a sub hype, my man. So let's play it. Girlfriend says hi, I'm a fan. Well, hello! Console drops frames a little bit. Ah, uh, I didn't pay $20,000 for a gaming PC to endure, to suffer dropped frames. That does not happen here. And it will never happen here. Not once, not ever. But you got a you got a three a three year hey you're still around awesome you got a three year uh, sub hype that I have never played so give me a chance to do that now I think this is a good track yeah this this one's kind of cheesy but I like it very like 80s dance club which I mean come on it's a very Lawrence track so please enjoy. Ah, good, good unsy unses. Good, good, like, good vibe tracks. That's what we're all about here. All right. Uh, I have to take a bathroom break. Um, so I'll be right back. Gotta stay hydrated, you know. See you guys soon. This video game arcade in Mountain View, California is typical of those scattered around the country. Children pile in shortly afternoon on weekends to match wits with an electronic bad guy. For about 75 cents, they shoot, punch, and hammer their way to victory. The store manager says it's a way for the youngsters to unwind. The adult goes out, he socializes, he relaxes with his friends. Well, they come here after school, relieves tension, and they're able to have fun. The child needs a place to vent frustration. And it's better to vent the frustration playing one of these games than to go out and vent the frustration on a pier and end up maybe in trouble with the local authorities. And that we don't want. This arcade boasts about 60 game consoles and it rakes in over 2,000 tokens every week. That's 25 cents per token, but not all of that money comes from the kids. The kids come here and they can do practically anything and I'm a grown man and I can't do this. And it frustrates me, but it's a lot of fun, you know. The arcade occasionally uses gimmicks like a birthday or retirement party to pull in customers. But what could be the real reason they come to play video games at an arcade? I'm kind of bored of my Nintendo. For the Computer Chronicles, I'm Kate McGargy.
parts to every person, your body and your spirit. But what is it like to be your spirit? What is the spiritual part of you? If you really want to see how spirits work on this level, watch an animal or a small infant. They use their sensing abilities like a spirit for survival. See what it's like to be both your body and your spirit and how you really respond to your environment. We're gonna do a little exercise together that involves sensing versus feeling. So before we start, I want you to get a household object that you can place in the palm of your hand. A piece of lettuce, a flower, a crystal, a rock, a feather, a small piece of fruit. Put your VCR on hold, get your object, and come on back. I want you to take your object now and put it beside you for a moment. And let's practice preliminaries. Let's release excessive energy. Just let it. Okay, right and we're back. We are back. Now I can. Oop. Now I can wall run. I can. Uh, I can use basic deductive reasoning to determine what happened in any any place. All set. I got my water. I got a soda. Got some gamer juice going. I gotta get my G Fuel sponsorship. You know. Uh oh. Uh oh. There's a scannable up there. Ah! That was... That was interesting. How are you guys gonna know what to drink if I'm not here... ...telling you about G Fuel? Hmm. Can I just make that jump? Oh, then we're gonna walk over here. Yeah. You're gonna learn some things. You're gonna learn some things in this stream. It's a learning stream. Oh, uh, oh, okay. That's what they want. That's what they want from me. And they'll get it. You put a pick up a bull somewhere, I'm gonna figure out how to pick it up. Ah, a bag. Used to hold things. Whoever owned this bag brought it from Coruscant. They were frustrated with the Jedi Council. Bit of a reach, but okay. You know what? Sure, yeah. That's a very ominous... Very Zelda-looking stone. A big-ass red stone. You need... You need a power to move this player. That's what it screams at you. Monster mule? What is that? Oh, is it like a... Is it like a Moscow mule, but with monster? So essentially, energy drink and vodka. Like the, the classic Red Bull vodka. I'm in danger, you guys. My, uh, my health is at risk because the liquor store that's just around the corner from my place has, like, tall boy seltzers. They have the Natty Light seltzers, which are awesome. Is it worth getting? You mean this game? I mean, that's, that's tough to, to answer right away. I'm, I'm only just, I've only just started playing it, so I can't really, I can't really attest to, like, how much, how long the game is or how it grows over the course of, uh, of hours, but... From what I've played so far, I really, really like it. Come back here. Oh, it's a new flavor monster mix. Gotcha. So what was in there? Ooh. Can you not? You can't go up. I'm guessing. It 
Tastes like a Moscow Mule, but it's just an energy drink. You don't get any of that delicious vodka. I guess it's not that hard to add it. Become something of a scientist yourself. You know, I make my own drinks. Was that when you add a shot of vodka to a White Claw? Quality memes. Where are you going, Crab Man? Today's the day you die. Ow. Yeah. Oh. Jesus. What? No, I can't scan now? Oh, other enemies showed up. Okay. Fair. Hey! Jesus! No! Got a scan? Boy. Knocking bosses down and then a Splox gets me. Splox are large, agile insects usually found in groups and known to launch coordinated attacks to overwhelm their prey. They are omnivorous and use small, thin, sprite-like wings to hover over terrain. They are able to contort their shape to quickly stagger their enemies, providing time for others in the pack to strike. Hmm. Yeah, Renslade, the, <clears throat> the damage scaling is no joke. It, takes, it only takes a few nicks to drop you, even by minor enemies. I like that they don't scale the amount of health that enemies have, though. So it's not like you have to hit them 25 times with your saber. You just have to not get hit. Which is, is frankly, it's like, that's the, the best, best combination for me. Which is why one of the reasons I like Sekiro so much. Can you slice this? Yeah, sorry about your scalp link. Aww. Standing up to that bog rat, pretty brave. Okay. Oh, his little hacking foot is what got broken. All right. Hey now. What is it? I am a Jedi Master. I have a lot of lightsaber parts, and I'm going to put them in crates all over the planet. They'll make them very hard to get to. Very hard. I don't know why I'm c crazy. Are you a Jedi? Do you think you can question the wisdom of me? I'm a goddamn Jedi. These are my lightsaber parts, and I'm going to put them where I want. Into this crate. On top of a tall building. Thing. All right. Oh, back here. All right. This game actually canon? Yeah, it is now. Hold on. Oh, boy. Kinsley? There's some there's some lead speak going on with that name, and I hope I hope I stumbled through it. But yeah, you found my stream. Here I am playing some Star Wars. Hope you enjoy watching. And hey, if you don't, let me know why, and I'll fix it. It's my goal to make the Twitch Twitch TV's number one best stream. Kingsley. Oh, okay. Ah, the G. Thank yes. You, thank you. Thank you for uh, for helping me out. Well, Kingsley, cheers. Even, you know, it's Coke Zero, but... From what makes me sad to think about, there aren't any Jedi in the later movies, and this game takes place in the middle of 3 and 4. So, yeah. I mean, it's pretty, pretty foregone that they don't succeed in resurrecting the Jedi Order. But maybe they... I don't know. Prevent some shit from happening to Luke, which eventually tries to do it, but... Even that doesn't work out so good, so, you know. Unintended consequences. We're not finished yet. Okay, okay, you probably would have won. Probably. Ooh. This is where I land force push, I guess. Gotta push that door open. Thought this was before three. No, it's it's after order sixty six. That much is definitely validated in uh six uh, people in chat before were saying it's six years after episode three, so. Oh, I have a skill point. Hmm. Ooh. Okay. 
Oh, so, so, so let's turret for longer duration. All right. I feel like the kick is going to be pretty useful. These all seem like pretty important upgrades. Does that use force power? It doesn't show his meter going down. Jump while dashing to flip over the target instead. That's cool. Yeah, D Dr. Winge, uh, Dr. Winge, yeah. It does kind of look like the sphere grid. A little bit. Do you think this game could come to the Switch? I don't know, EA has said multiple times it's not really the platform for them. For reasons that people, I think, hyper-simplified and just so they could have something that they, they laugh at, but... I kind of get what they're going for with some of the, the games they talked about. Of like identifying this would be a good match for the Switch, but the Switch doesn't have the infrastructure to support it in the way that we need it to. Fragile structure indicates they were purely decorative, potentially objects of religious significance. It's possible they were carried to serve as a form of pilgrimage. Well, watch this! Oh. They're not that fragile. They can take a lightsaber clip. Got farther in the story and I'm crying now. Oh, is it, is it that good? We got some feelings? Oh, in the top left it says it uses force? Okay. The vault is built out of Carnite, a hard stone rich in minerals. Center walls are decorated with metallic plating and inscriptions. The glyphs don't return results in any galactic databank suggesting the language has been lost to time. Damn. I don't see how it would work. I think a controller would be more comfortable than Joy-Cons. I mean, yeah, I, there's there's pro controllers, so... I think button-wise it'd be fine, and the Unreal Engine I'm pretty sure can scale down to the Switch. it just... take time. Isn't Mortal Kombat on Unreal? And that was able to scale. Ooh. A non-Euclidean cave. Amazing. Is there no character customizing? Yeah, you can, uh... You can change your poncho. That's important. You can change your lightsaber, like the the relative parts and the blade color and stuff like that. Um, I don't think you can control like every last pit of your your wardrobe. Not like you get gear or anything, which I'm kind of okay with. I'm I'm a little sick of gear in games and gear systems that don't matter. I'll check it out. Oh, you can change BD-1? Okay. You all right, BD? Ah! Well done, whoever you are. You have passed the test I left behind <laughs> and gained access to the vault and this recording, one of many encrypted logs stored in the droid. I am Master Eno Cordova. I may not know your name, but I know your purpose. The fate of the Jedi Order lies in your hands. This place, this... Vault is a sacred temple built by a vanished civilization known as the Zephyr. Meditating here, I was granted a premonition through the Force, a vision of doom. I have placed inside this vault a Jedi holocron containing a list of the names and locations of young Force sensitives throughout the galaxy. Ahead, you will find the inner chamber of the vault, but also another test. I can only trust this holocron to someone who has followed my path and understands. Seek out the hidden tombs of the three sages and learn to perceive the mysteries of the Force as hey, Jory. Thank you Thank you for the Prime did. sub. In this droid, you will find everything you need to succeed on this journey. Go to the Zepho homeworld. There, you will find peace in the eye of the storm. Good luck, Jedi. And may the Force be with you. Hmm. 
beat the game on Grandmaster, you get to see BD1 nude? Well, buckle up. Because we're going to see some Robo Dick. I guess you were the someone I was supposed to meet. Yeah, Roxor is. It's a, it sounds like a kill list for the Empire for sure. Which kind of establishes stakes in the game pretty well. It's okay. That's why BD1's hanging around. You know, I've been alone for a while now. Oh, they're going to be buddies. Without any purpose, just hiding. No way to live. Not for a Jedi. Or a droid. Maybe Seer was right. Maybe we're done hiding. And we're not gonna do the hero's journey? Hey. He's not gonna reject his destiny? Friends of mine. Only did a point of no return? I guess maybe that's what he was doing when we... When we came across him. Yes! Origin achievements! Yes! Yes! Oh, multiple entries, yeah. Yeah, okay. Oh, and you old Jedi man, where you at? Ooh. Cool. How do I do? I do very well. I'm having a pretty good day. Pretty solid day. Pretty blessed day. Playing some video games. Got some chores done. Went for a little walk this morning. Got some soda burps. I'm surprised there's, there's not a ton of crap to scan over the walls in here. Anyone? Just making sure you're still there. Yeah. When am I going to kill my younglings? Just staring at the ground. Pretty cool looking environment. You go. Alright. Huh? Onward to adventure. 1.11 a.m. here in the Czech Republic. Wish I could say the same. Ah. Uh, you gotta go to work tomorrow? Pretty sure I did that before, but whatever. You're not playing a video game unless you save eight times just for safety. I think I found what you wanted me to see. Sounds like you did. We'll be waiting. Cool. Ah! Hey. Oh. oh, my dodge is different now. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> what did you find in the vault? Uh, a... Holo Holocron from an old Jedi basically instructing me to go to like three more temples oh in five hours Ugh. that's that's not a good feeling well, hopefully you get some uh, hopefully you get some sleep before then oh, that was almost cool. All right, I'm getting, I'm getting reckless. BD one. Man, this uh, this is really throwing off my timing for some reason. I'm here, th here thinking I'm invincible, and they still got to check you. Leave it and run. Never, never once. Attack the tongue for some good damage. I was trying that. I. People seem to say that you need force pull before you can do that. Uh, also, he's got my experience. That's my experience. I earned that. And I wanted to experiment with this new uh, attack that I got.
Alright, alright. Figuring out the timing a little bit. There, see? There's a dragon just chilling over there. Yeah, sorry. It's, people keep mentioning this dragon that I haven't seen. Oh, my god. Yep, that's a dragon. <laughs> yeah? It's just sleeping. What's your game of the year so far? Or is there a game you're holding out for? Well, Shenmue 3 is just around the corner. Um, I, I don't know. I, I kind of doubt that'll be game of the year, even though I'm very excited for it. Um, Resident Evil 2 Remake was so good. Sekiro was very, very good. Uh, Outer Wilds was very, very, very good. Um, I don't know. I'd have to look at a list, I think. I haven't played Outer Worlds yet, either. I feel like I'm gonna like that game a lot. So, a lot of very good things. Ah. You know what? Uh, it has been a pretty good year for gaming. Been a lot of great games coming out. It's hard to... hard to... really find a big problem with anything. My friend. I mean, we had some... some bad stuff. Some Fallout 76 is your anthems. In death. Uh, your WWE 2K20s, but Strange. I think like the number of good games of honest efforts that really tried far outweigh a lot of that bad stuff. Far outweigh it. So if like if only one or two good games came out this year, and also all that shit was going on, it'd be a little worse. But every other month, there's just like a really amazing cataclysmic game that's been coming out. Huh? Interesting. Yeah, film. There's been a lot of controversies, but I mean, to some degree, some of those are not as big as they're played up to be. And I, I certainly, you know, to, I, I have some responsibility in that too, being in games media. But I do think they're more and more, especially YouTube culture. My God, more and more uh, people find things and really amp up the verbiage and intensity of it to blow things that are just normal into full on. Uh, controversy. Oh, see, yeah, I never went back to Blasphemous, but I really liked that game, too. It ended up not being as, like, I think the art style is the most successful part of that game. The, the mechanics are alright. The world is pretty good. But really, it's just the, the, the art style is so, so good. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Oh yeah, it's sad to see Blizzard the way they ended up. Yeah, that's not not ideal, but I mean they're a company. That's like they're a company. It happens. CD Projekt, I guess, is the only game developer that I can think of so far. Maybe FromSoft, who is is, is getting big, huge, and still is managing to put out really, like, I guess Capcom. They kind of they kind of regained their footing this year. Dub May Cry was pretty sweet. So, I don't know. It happens, though. Oh, I can wall run now, which means I can probably get this shit. Maybe? I don't remember specifically wall running being the thing I needed, but it seems like it might be. Maybe not? Hmm. Double jump? Oh, okay. Oh yeah, Path of Exile 2. I need to look at look at the announcement for that. Um, I also just need to play Path of Exile. I wonder if 2019 had more questionable decisions in video games than in previous years. Eh, I wouldn't say that. I think certainly people are getting more used to calling things out loudly and angrily. Path of e Path of Exile hard? Yeah. No, well, you're. Certainly convincing me to get in there. Yeah, Grace, there's there's a cute robot. There's a cute little robo pal. Ren, I'm pretty excited for Diablo 4 as well. I, there's no release date, so, you know, we're on Blizzard time now, but... 
I played a little bit of bit of it at BlizzCon, so I'm excited to. Uh, oh, hi there. Ah, ah, no! Absolutely not. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna re gonna record a preview of that pretty soon for Inside Gaming. Natural escape artists, they evolved to run on their toes. This technique allows them to quickly change direction or jump while navigating Magana's mix of rocky and marsh-like terrain. Their furry bodies compensate for the heat lost through their bare feet. Oh. Uh. I think 2018 will be known as the year of Dark Souls-like games. Uh, I think... I think the years following Dark Souls will be, yeah. Which... I mean, I like Dark Souls, so... I haven't- I don't have a problem with that. Oh, is this where you can get the drop attack on that guy? That's pretty cool. Hmm. That jump looks like it's a little too far. But I'm gonna try it anyway. Yep. Gonna eat? Alright. Yeah, I'm getting a little- a little hungry too, so I might take a break in a second. Switch it up to Pokemon! I bought that game too. I just dropped a lot of money on video games, holy shit. That's uh, that's every fall though. You gotta clench and let your bank account get ravaged. This is what we do for video games. The brave sacrifice we make. I got shield, Kajima, because everyone seems to be buying sword. And I gotta be different, so. Path of Exile and Nuts is a mobile game and everyone praises them, Blizzard doesn't, everyone boos them. Yeah? I mean, it's it's the, uh... Welcome to the narrative, man. People like seeing a large thing fail. People like seeing small things succeed. And it's... Shockingly, it's even more about perception than it is about anything else. If you're perceived as being a big soulless company. I mean, I do think that there's craft in... in and skill in cultivating that perception. I think there are things Blizzard can can still do and should be doing to reinforce their reinforce the narrative that there's a small company still in touch with the players. Things I don't think they are, and I don't think they have that capability. So things are kind of playing out like they're meant to. If you don't talk authentically to your base, then they'll be way less forgiving when you do corporate shit like announce a mobile game. Bogglings collaborate in heckles, or large packs, spending approximately one-third of their life span digging the intricate tunnel network. Awesome. Naspy, thank you for the, the Prime sub. I think it was just a situation to hype D4 and then announce mobile game wasn't the best way around. Jory, I 100% agree. I 100% agree that was just that was just garbage PR. Um, it, was, it was tone deaf PR. It was like, how could you put out that post being like, or that video, whatever it was, being like, we're really excited about the future Diablo and, we, and you guys should get excited too. And then have BlizzCon be Diablo Immortal. And it's like, what? Why Why did you think anyone would care about this? I mean, I... So if I'm going to be... And, and this is me trying to be uh, somewhat apologetic. Let's say... Fictional universe. Let's say they did that post thinking they were going to announce Diablo 4 that year and not this year. Then it would have made sense. And then for some reason they cut, they cut the announcement. Nobody uh, acknowledged it. And here Blizzard is looking like an asshole. That happens, right? Maybe that is what happened. Who can say? But certainly, if they were only going to announce Diablo Immortal, and then they... Ugh. No. Bad call. And yeah, Ren, I... At least you have that amount of empathy, right? The people had to get up and face that audience down. Like, everyone can can talk shit about the don't you guys have phones comment, but... I th In context, I thought it was a re Like, he was trying to relate to the audience. I mean, like, why are you guys so mad? We're making a cool game for your phone, man. Um, and yeah, that's not an easy thing to do, by the way. <laughs> to get up and talk to a room full of people who are really pissed off about the thing you've been working on for years. Also, I think even if it wasn't that, it would have been something. Like, there was going to be some some meme coming out of that. So, it was inevitable, really. You passed the test. So you knew about BD-1? Come on board. We'll talk inside. And she is an ex-Jedi, I guess. Oh, BD-1, this is Grease. Hey, Grease. What is that? Grease nuts. I'll never not think about him that way. Get out of there! Get out! That is BD-1. 
He's with us. I don't care who he's with. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get oil state out of Patoli Bean fabric? Not really. Ah, uh, Star Wars banter. You found something better out there than this droid. Oh, calm down, Breeze. Weird, Les, I'm really enjoying this game so far. Tell us, Cal. Am I further ahead than Jacob? Never. And nothing ever. An organization called the Zepho. A Jedi named Eno Cordova hid something inside of it. I'm only further than Jacob in games Jacob has never played. A holocron from the archives. It contains a list of force sensitive children. The next generation of Jedi. I knew it! Ah, oh, Cordova, you old fool. You knew him? Yes. A long time ago. I was his apprentice. Cordova was a loner. And that little droid and I are probably the only ones that know about Pagano. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. A hollow what? A holocron. It stores information, but only accessible to Jedi. Hang on, I think I have one around here. Use the Force. I've never seen a holocron in, like, scale. I didn't know they were that size. I thought they were smaller for some reason. This is Master Obi -Wan. Like that? Like a die? I regret to report that both our Jedi Order and the Republic have fallen. It's everywhere! Oh, we're done. Okay. With that list of Force sensitives, we could rebuild the Jedi Order and defeat the Empire. Yeah, it doesn't really... Okay, oh, they vary in size. Okay. Let's get it! Huh. Except the holocron is hidden deep inside the vault, and to get it, we have to follow Cordova's path. He mentioned something about... Help me, Cass. Death. You're my only hope. A Zeppo homeworld. All right, well, where are we going? Now? I'm just asking because I was thinking of maybe making some food. Ah. Look, before we do anything, I need to know something. How come you're no longer a Jedi? I had an experience that changed my perspective. So I From her point of view, the Jedi are evil. From the Force. Oh. Can you do that? But you still want to rebuild the Order. I believe that rebuilding the Order is the best chance we have against the Empire. What do you believe? I believe I can't keep hiding from the Empire, so I don't really... Why are her eyes so weird? She just has big eyes. You will always have a choice. Are you with us? We're in. Death Mirror Zepho. It's your choice. Oh, we get to choose now? Alright, after revealing she can no longer use the Force, Sarah sent Cal to an ancient vault. Along the way, Cal. Yeah, I don't need to read, read that. We were there! We were there for all of that. Ooh. Oh, this is where you can put in your little plants. This thing. Ooh. What? You've never seen a terrarium before? Sure, but don't they usually have plants in them? Well, I've been a bit busy hauling you around the galaxy, but you know, you could pay me back with some seeds. I thought you hated nature. When it's out there, you betcha. But when it's behind a comfortably thick wall of embar and glass, that's perfection. All right, I'll see if I can find any. This is supposed to be our, like, like wisecracking character. I'm into it. I'm into it. Thinking about food, yelling about plants. I wouldn't recommend Dathomir. It was a nightmare planet to go to even after playing for hours. Ooh, it's just really difficult. You're speaking my language though. Gotta be careful about that. Okay, let me check out my new lightsaber shit. Oh, you're, oh, the other side was frayed. That's what you're referring to. Yeah, look at that. Sure. More stuff. Always better. Alright. I'd recommend Deathmere. It's got good root beer. Ooh. It's optional now, but definitely not recommended. Well, you know what? That stupid little lizard boss wasn't recommended either. Yeah, whatever. Man. I love walking around ship interiors on games. You gotta get some more first. Seer, can you feel the force at all? Yes, but instead of opening up, I push it back down. 
the exact opposite of what you should do. Out there, I remembered something about myself before the purge. It was painful, but like I found a piece of myself. That's good. You're learning to embrace the Force again. How can you say that? Because I know what it means to live without it. Okay. I'll keep trying. It's just kind of weird that clicking the right stick is the use button. Time to go? Great. Hate sitting around like this. Ooh, all right. Yeah, it does seem like Zepho is definitely the planet they want you to go to. I mean, <coughs> that's where the objective is, right? <coughs> you can only go so far on death, might as well go later. Yeah, that is kind of how it seems And like... I mean, if I do a harder thing and then come back, it'll just trivialize earlier planets, so... Goes to Darth Maul's family. Oh, is he from... Is he from Dathomir? Look at all these secrets, too. Oh! Oh! 62%! Trash! Go to Dathomir? Alright. You guys got it. Setting course for Dath... Wait a minute. You want to go to Dathomir? I'm surprised Cordova went there. You must have had good reason. I am staying put on the Manus once we arrive. Red sunlight cannot be good for your skin. This place used to be home to a powerful cabal of force wielders known as the Night Sisters. They use the force? What, like Jedi? No. These witches served only themselves. Their powers focused on deception, illusion, manipulation. <laughs> Sounds like someone I used to know. During the Clone Wars, the Night Sisters made a deal with a Sith Lord who betrayed their trust. In the end, they were nearly wiped out in a massacre. Dathomir is a deadly place. We should be careful. Cool. You don't have to tell me twice. Magic? Huh. Huh. An expression of the Force unknown to Jedi or Sith. So with literal magic. Okay. Darth isn't, death isn't hard. You just can't progress without abilities. All right. I'll, I'll poke around a little bit. Oh, that's from Clone Wars? Okay, cool. I need to, uh, man, I need to watch that show. Now that Disney Plus has made it a bit, a bit easier. Uh, coming up on our creepy destination. Grab some seat, kid. Not magic, it has a K, so it's different. <laughs> Fuck! It's cool every time! It's an engine, too, so it's like... Super high resolution. That shit has got to, uh, murder Twitch compression, but... Cal. Yeah. Ketchuo, I, I started Clone Wars, but did not get very far, because Season 1 isn't the best. I'm prepared to face anything. I know you are, Cal. One of the many reasons BD-1 trusted you with Cordova's information. We're lucky to have you. Do you know anything about the Night Sisters of Dathomir? I knew a little. Many Jedi weren't even aware of their existence, but being Cordova's apprentice came with some unique insight. He always thought they were interesting, as he did with most ancient cultures. And what did you think? I never came here. I never wanted to. As I recall, that was about the time the two of us began going our separate ways. The darkness always has an effect, one way or another. We'll talk later. All right. Lore, 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 lore. You'll be okay. You're with Jedi. It's safe. <laughs> I'm safe. Who's there? Oh, Cal. Whew. Are we ready to go? Just checking on you. I'm fine. Just fine. Just very much ready to get off this planet. I've heard the stories. Witches, living dead. Don't you have a job to do? Come on already. I'll get right on it. Okay, good. Hurry it up. I'll be right here where it's safe. If there is such a place. Uh, how do you feel about the Mandalorian so far? I really, really, really you like it. Increase? Oh yeah, sure. Really enjoying I'm it. really in the mood for a slow and painful death. You think you could find that sort of thing on this death planet? Or maybe just bring me back something that will haunt me for the rest of my dreadful life. Any of that work, you weirdo? Oh, Grease. We'll be okay, Grease. We're all here to protect each other. Kid, I don't know if you're messing around with me or not, but I am fully expecting you to do just that, and if you don't, I'll haunt you. All right, all right, Grease, you're all right. 
You're you're all right, Grease. Wish the episodes were longer. But the first two are kind of like one A and one B. That's why they're short. Uh, yeah. I mean, I don't I don't mind them being short. I'd rather them be short than to pad it out. The bunch of just garbage diet. Like I don't need a Game of Thrones, man. I don't need that shit. I'd rather play video games. Every time I'm watching a TV show, I'm not playing a video game, and that vexes me. And that TV show has to use my time wisely. Um, and when it's just a bunch of just shitty like dialogue scenes that don't go anywhere and don't mean anything. Damn it! You're taking my video game time. Ooh. So I'm okay with like that's one of the things I actually really enjoy about Mandalorian so far. Oh, I got this like a, a wall clambering ability. I'm sure I'll get. Is that it is actually very efficient with its time. It tells a good story. It's it's efficient with its time, and it still has the capacity for like lonesomeness. It has, because it is a lot of Mandalorian being alone, not talking to anybody, which is good. That's his character. He's not supposed to be a chatterbox. But they convey a lot through, oh my god, though. Hold on. Holy shit, that skybox. Oh. I mean, like, Destiny vibes, but even Destiny is kind of Star Wars vibes, because they're all tied to, like, late 70s sci-fi. Of just really big, colorful, epic, almost like a... It's, it's like he looked right at me. Huh. Almost psychedelic landscapes. Is Inside Gaming doing TV reviews? I mean, it's called Inside Gaming, my man. Good thing we weren't standing there. There are a number of gaming outlets that just start to become general entertainment, and I don't want that to happen. I'm kind of tired of that happening. Of everything being everything. Does weed make video games more fun for you? Ah. Uh... Mm... No, I wouldn't say that. That's a blanket statement. It's, I certainly don't play as well when I'm fucking high. But it does increase my sense of wonder a little bit, playing a game like this. Like, certainly, this, playing on hard, the sword fighting would be a challenge. I'd probably die a whole lot more. I tend to get lost more, too. I'm sort of aimlessly wandering around kind of thing. Just won't open. Oh, boy. Gonna talk about Mandalorian on with uh, on Filmhouse with Dan and the rest? No, because I'm pretty sure there was a Mandalorian event that people went to, and I did not go. Yeah. Ah, 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 wow! Oh shit! Oh shit! All right. God damn it! Hmm. That didn't that didn't quite play right. There's been a few very minor like graphical glitches. None of it has been like experience ruining by any stretch, but something like that, you're like, huh. Yeah, died on died standing on my feet. Like a real Jedi. That's okay though, man. I don't I don't need to talk about everything. I don't need to share my opinions about everything. There's a few things I really do like seeing people's opinions about and sort of having that conversation, but I just, I like, con I like consuming media and just keeping it more intimate. I feel like a lot of the times I don't need the conversation. I don't need to go on Twitter and let everyone know what I fucking think about everything. Uh, which, for most, like, I hate to say it, but for most personalities just re kind of revolves around just saying blanket, meaningless, positive about everything, just saying everything's great. This was so good, this was so good. Attacking the person who made it. Oh my god, I loved it so much. But not saying anything of value or interest, really. Okay! Woo! That's a big swipe. Toss it. Oh! Oh! He mad! Ah, oh. but you're an influencer. Yeah, mediocre. I'm not. Pl I don't. I don't play that game very well. I don't know. I. I, I don't want this to sound like I'm fucking masturbating on stream, but I. I do struggle with authenticity. Not that it's hard for me to be authentic. It's actually the opposite. So, I. The whole like, just saying nice like. Just making sure that I'm always seen as like being in every conversation and 
making sure that I'm always saying things that are diplomatically okay and making sure that everyone likes me. Like, I'm just not good at that. I'm just not good at it. Um, and to some degree, I, I feel like at some point that will start to have an effect on my career, or at least my potential, my career potential. Just not tagging everyone and and being like, oh, so great, Mandalorian, so good, oh. I mean, it is good, don't get me wrong. It's like one of the few things that I do actually enjoy gushing about, but most stuff I watch, I'm like, yeah, it's passable. Like, it doesn't, doesn't let light my soul on fire, and that's fine. Not everything needs to, but why do I have to sound off about everything? Why do I have to put everything on a podcast or tweet about it? Or eh. Oh, hey, not today. Ow, ooh! These guys have different shit. Stim. Fuck you. There. <laughs> so wait, if you die, and then you die again, is it the, the the like Dark Souls thing? If you lose that experience, or is it just tied to a different enemy now? Good job. The vile bane black bane back, but. That's why you were the only person I watched review Death Stranding. Well, thank you. Oh, you lose your experience? Oof. Interesting. That might be a problem soon. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, I guess that one spider was just worth a lot of experience. The first enemy that killed you keeps your experience. Oh! Oh, so I can go back to that one spitter guy? I got so tired of uh, saying something is good or bad or whatever, but not saying why. Yeah, because the why requires analysis. And it requires empathy. Like, it requires communication skills. And I think, okay, so there's like levels of it. One is good, bad. Two is good, bad, and here's why I think it's that way. Three is, here's why you might think it's good or bad, and leaving it there. And I, I really like the, I like the third option. To me, that's like the hardest to do, to communicate to people. Oh, you can't get your experience back because you died twice. Gotcha. All right, all right. Mission of a toxic, oh, okay. Up. They put a... They put an acid cloud out when they die. Interesting. Seeing why creates a conversation. Yeah, I also feel like it's more useful to anyone... Anyone, you know, reading or, or trying to digest that, that expression. Saying here's what I think to me is, is a form of egotism. It's like, my, my opinions are cultivated enough that they should be valuable to you. Which is can be true you know that's that's not that's not inaccurate there are there there are people who i guess uh, fundamentally it's like if if your opinions sync up with somebody else's then them it, or i should say taste if your taste sync up with somebody else's then them expressing opinions is valuable to you because it might be what you think too because of the similarities of your tastes but if they're not they're useless and worse than that sometimes annoying <laughs> When somebody is saying, you know, this is how this is, and you're like, well, that's just your opinion, man. Project to stream Pokemon with 900 viewers. Haven't seen Mandalorian, but here, the thing, I think you're a good dude. Just because you have different opinions about a show doesn't change that. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, conflating, Jesus Christ, conflating opinion with morality is, is a huge problem. Okay, so that one's still glowing, though. Oh, I got it all back! Okay. Yeah, so it actually doesn't go away when you die to another enemy. It sticks on the enemy that... Fuck, man. BD1. I'm... The range of the lightsaber I'm still trying to get used to. When you die, you lose all XP gained from last save point. So you can die a thousand times, it doesn't matter. It's already lost until you kill that enemy. Got you. Or until you thump that enemy, at least. Okay. That's that's a slightly more forgiving way to do that. Bloodborne-style XP loss? Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Ah, shit. Do you have any expectations for episode 9? I, uh... My only expectations are that it's coming from J.J. Abrams, so I think it'll just be a, a fun movie. I don't think it's gonna try to do, you know... It's not gonna try to set the world on fire, but it doesn't need to. It's just gonna be a good, fun movie. So I'm, I'm actually... Ow. 
very much looking forward to it for that reason. What's there a Rotten Tomatoes for video games? I mean, it's like Metacritic, right? Isn't that the idea? Ugh. Ah, oh, god damn it. Actually, I should just go back to the Well, I did get an ex I did get a skill point. Like sometimes there isn't a need for complicated conversation sparking reason. For example, I didn't like this game because it kept crashing. Oh, yeah. If it's not functional, then yeah, you can. That's it. What is it? What are you playing on? Or what platform, I should say. Game reviews should have depth and talk about why certain mechanics work or don't work. I agree. I agree. Um, and a lot of good reviews do that. Some bad ones don't. Well, not bad, I should say. Less... Less considerate? Less well thought? Uh. Seems pretty useful. So real quick stagger. Ooh! Less analytic. Yeah, to me it's more like... Uh, so I, I've kind of I've waxed philosophic about this before, so I apologize if this is annoying and old, but... I think um, <clears throat> it is possible to break a game down into objective and subjective successes and failures. And a lot of people say it's not, and I think that's... That's kind of a way of, of masking... Or being uncomfortable making statements outside of one's experience well. That's just my read. Um, I think that if you play enough games, and certainly if you, if you actually study game design, and know how computers work, and know how games work, um, you can make pretty objective statements about whether a game has good game design or not. Uh, and that's, that's relating it back to some like core tenets of good game design. Uh, and I, I have my own theories, or my own kind of rubric about that, but... I think it's possible to say a game is good, but you still might not like it. Uh, it's possible for a game to be of high quality, and still not be enjoyable. Like, those those schisms are possible. And I think it does require a mass acknowledgement that, like, quality does not equal mass appeal. That a game is not good just because everyone likes it. Um, and I think certainly the inverse is there, true. There are games that everyone likes that I think are not well designed. Um... But I, but I guess that, yeah, film works the same way, food, any cre any creative expression has an element of, like, technical ex skill, but artistic uh, intent. And I think the, and I didn't, I didn't come up with this, I think this is actually Roger Ebert's kind of methodology of criticism, is that a good work is one in which it successfully realizes the creator's goal. So the creator has a goal in their head, it doesn't exist in the world. And through the use of, like, mastery of their medium, whether that's painting, carpentry, cooking, video game design, movie making, they try to realize that in, uh, vision as closely as they can uh, in the real world. Masters of their craft are able to perfectly recreate their vision. Amateurs are not, because they don't know the tools, they don't have the experience, they don't have the nuance of expression. So uh, I think the, the goal of a critic, then, is to be able to consume a piece of media, like a video game or a movie, in doing so see the intent, and then also uh, appraise how close the, uh, the creator got. That's the objective part of it. Whether or not, and it's not, like, to a degree that is also functional. Does the game crash? Does it run well? All those things kind of influence the, the vision being realized. The vision itself is the subjective part. Uh, like, this is what the game does and whether or not you agree with it. But it is a good or well-made game because it executed on its vision uh, very well. So I think that's the kind of verbiage that I would like... I would like most game reviews to get to. And I guess most criticism in general, so... What game has the most varying review scores? I mean, Death Stranding is kind of the big one lately. 
Uh, anyway, all right, I'm gonna change games, and I'm gonna take I'm gonna take a kind of a longer break to get a snack. So you guys will be on the the hold videos for a while, but gonna come back with that Pokemon. It's actually been a long time since I've played Pokemon. Um, I think since Emerald on Game Boy Advance. So gonna be gonna be an experience. But uh, yeah, I'll be back in a bit with that. Pokemon Shield should be done downloading by now. I also got Groove Coaster because I got a. I, I promised Sandra that I would give her a run for her money, so. And I don't, I don't forget that stuff, even if I couldn't get it running on PC like I wanted. I also didn't try that hard, if I'm being honest, but... Also, it has Undertale DLC. So look at, look at that. Ah. Alright, uh, but yeah, a bit of a long break here. I'm gonna guess, like, 20-30 minutes, maybe? While I, I make some food and eat it. I might also... I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I feel like doing it. I'm gonna walk down to the, the liquor store and get some, get some fucking... Natty Light Tall Boys crack into this Pokemon right. Uh, how long are you going to stream for? Uh, an another few hours at least. Steps out of Disneyland, man, so I got the day. I got the day. The boys are playing. So, yeah, I can jerk off. That's true. Can do whatever I want. Uh, I feel like game developers are analyzing all the points you talked about, and then the marketing takes the positive stuff. Reviewers should give you reasoned opinions on what the marketing is right and wrong about. Yes. I think that's a lot of it. It's like... Here's how the game's been represented to you, and here's the image you probably have of the game. Here's what the game actually is, and here's the crossover. Like, here's how, what's accurate and inaccurate about that. Um, I think for something like Death Stranding, because I think that's kind of pertinent to the conversation, for me, like in the review, I tried to say, if, if, if all these trailers rubbed you the wrong way, that's the correct take, because that's the game. Like, that's the story part of the game. The gameplay part of the game is not something that's really been expressed in any of the pre-release material. So... But yeah, I agree. I think that's that's also an important factor. There, I th I think the focus, I think fundamentally, should be on the audience and con communicating with the audience, and giving them all the tools they need to make up their mind, um, as opposed to kind of the more like here's what I think, and there you have it. I think that's underserves a portion of the audience. But that's just me. Uh, an objectively good game, but subjectively fun. I would agree, mostly. I do think that some of the mechanics break down at a certain point. Uh, but it's still a fun game to play, for me. Yeah, ah, gets messy. All right, I'll be back in a minute. Uh, thank you guys for hanging out. And uh, I will check you soon. Soon Pokemon. Soon Pokemon. So, but yeah, all the random clips until then. So, see you guys soon.